Kaya, Noel, Barbara, and Zin Xin Ling. I used Xin Ling for a while. Or Xin Ling? Xin Ling. And then I got Dialogue, and I was like, oh, well, that's changing. I think it was around 40 or 50. I could get the prism stick now, but I think I'll just wait. Oh, he's not equipped on this. Is that better or worse? I don't know. I'm fine. I got through just fine. I get to the pyramid. Oh, maybe I gotta go to the pyramid or something now. Or isn't that where I went first? I can't remember. Ruin which belongs to the uh, raise magical blah 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 blah. Okay, cool. Let's try going to the forest to the northeast. You guys ready for some hot jams? That's the southeast, but yeah. Pyramid. Offer the kism fire to the furnace hidden in the water flow. Life shall dance in the sky and connect the lands. I don't believe I have any of that, but nowhere else to go. Burn the fairies! Hey, won't be playing pranks, pranks on me. Fairies are like humanoid butterflies, so I think it's good to just pretty much just get rid of them just in case, you know? Alright, I don't have any kind of, I don't, I, don't, I don't have some kind of key item fire thing, so looks like... Mount Xenom is where we, we just were, and we did that, uh, we did the stone thing on the boss, the spider boss. <laughs> People don't like me because I'm a princess, but because I'm stinky. Just, just a reminder. Did Brad have a bad experience with the Faye? Brad has a bad experience with everything because Brad is Brad. I, sh I need to find a spell person. I would like to get an antidote spell or something like that. But this town doesn't have one, I don't think. We're running low on antidotes. Alright, so something in the town that we have to do then in order to trigger a cutscene. Unless there's... No, that's a sign that's like, hey, ultimate power or whatever. Stinky is a good name? Yeah, it's a family name. If I ever have a daughter, I'll name her Stinky. Wouldn't be far from the truth, you know. Babies are poop factories, after all. Our chief streams foresee changes in the world. Oh, you know what? I never talked to the chief. 
after my exploits. I just saved the game because I was like already really late. Ow. I can feel that the seal has been broken. The demons are one step ahead of us. Do not be alarmed. There are two other seals which have not been broken. The other two statues are located at Saint Centaur and Port Timony. If we can save just one of those, then we can prevent the queen from reviving. Only your brave party can accomplish this mission. You must use uh, pyramids, for they are linked to the guardians. You can usually find the pyramids in the same area the statues are kept. It is said that all life can become energy and transported to faraway places through the use of uh, technology. Warriors of the Guardians, please take this gift, the Kism Fire of Baskar. You can use this light to furnace and uh use you can use this to light the furnace in the pyramid. For the good of all life on Fogaya, please protect the remaining statues. Kazam fire! <laughs> this one's easier, dude. Let me not move. Edward! <laughs> Fusion How! This holiday season, come together with your family. Literally. Kiss of Fire has been lit. The uh, pyramid is filling with strange energy. I don't know why they just didn't call them elves. Like, they're elves. Alright? They're just future elves. They're future space elves. This is a pretty cool effect, though. This land contains the holy statue, which seals the evil heart. And the music and the cutscenes are actually really legit for the era, but the, the story and writing is just so... <laughs> Granted, I mean, back in this era, it was basically... Final Fantasy VII was the first actual, fully comprehensive, well-written story ever created for a video game, so... Hard guard. Protector of for the left hand. Okay. It's only for him. Yeah, I'll do it. You don't think FF6 was? No. If you look back at... Okay, I love FF6. It's one of my favorite games of all time. But if you actually go back to FF6 and, like, read the dialogue and compare it to something like FF7... It's not even close to the to the depth and layers of like discussion, conversation, and interaction that the characters have. Like that's what I'm talking about. FF6 has a story, but it's more of a concept than a story. It's it's that like it's just back then in the olden days of, of game creation, the story was just very direct. It was like here is problem and solve, and then let's have a couple jokes in between. Just whoosh. did you know that Final Fantasy VII has like what seven times the dialogue, the amount of dialogue? that Final Fantasy VI has, or something like that. It's it's insane. It's huge. Because there's so much more, like, in-between dialogue, like talking about 
you know, how they feel or, 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 or like, you know, just, just debating like their, their actions and th stuff like that. They're, they're, it's, a, it's like a movie script in a video game, whereas FF6 is just the story without all the in-between in, in it, like the, the layers of character development and growth, you know? There's still a lot in there, and FF6 was way ahead of its time as well, but FF7 was the first video game to have a fully detailed, comprehensive storytelling experience, like Hollywood production level of storytelling, you know? Your thought was there was a bigger gap between 5 and 6 and 6 and 7? I would say 5 and 6 are actually relatively close in terms of comprehensive storytelling. It's just that 5 tends to have a lot more silliness to it, so you don't really get a lot of the depth that you do from 6. It's definitely a step up, but like 7 is, is like Hollywood level AAA box office storytelling quality comparatively to 6, you know? And yeah, it's the limitation of fitting everything a car. Granted, text is a very small file, but back in the day, even just text could be a big problem, you know? That's why all the backgrounds, backgrounds were just solid pictures, you know? I can't remember the last few days I've been just wandering. Not, not been killed by monsters yet, huh? So yeah, I mean, it's like... The FF6 is fantastic, story is fantastic, but the jump is just so huge. And FF7 was the first game that really did that, and this game coming out before FF7, it didn't really have FF7 to take inspiration from in order to create a more, like, detailed and comprehensive story. It's basically, you know, SNES storytelling uh, on a PlayStation game. So you can't really fault it too much. But yeah, I mean, you're, you're you're not wrong. They were fantastic for the era. Thanks for the laughs in the stream. It's easy to laugh at me because I'm an idiot. Thank you, Kiwi, for the uh, three months of Prime. Still a huge amount for 32 megabytes. Yeah, of course, absolutely. Again, I mean, it's 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 not about whether or not FF6 was a good story or not. I mean, everybody. War, like, Harold, Harold's FF6 is one of the best games ever made. You know, best villain, Kefka, that kind of stuff. It's fantastic. For the time. And it still kind of holds up a little well. For, by today's era. These statues remind me of uh, Ogre Battle. Or Tactics Ogre. Something like that. You know, mostly Ogre Battle, but yeah. All of them do. They just have that, that aesthetic. Oh. What? I was pushed away. Sorry, we thought you guys were monsters. Town's the same thing tourists protected by dimensional protection seal. The entire town wall is a charged barrier. Keeps monsters out. You sure you guys are monsters? I wonder if I triggered the device. Why would you get caught in the device? The shield is very sophisticated. It'll stop spirits as well as monsters. Is that a pet of yours? I'm not a damn pet. Thief and I are... And Pen and I are partners. Can we come in? And hold him deep inside your pocket. Maybe put him up your butt or something. He'd be safe in your butt. That shit, I'd put him, I just, just to be safe, I'd put him in your butt. Just, just in case. Go ahead and drop your drawers and I'll help you out. That way you won't trigger the device. That is, if you're not a monster. If you are, you'll be stopped again. Now, if you put him in his butt and, the, and he gets repelled, would he just like rip out of his butt? <laughs> Nature's pocket! <laughs> Nature's pocket! My god, me. <laughs> Nature's pocket! <laughs> oh, man. Sacred beast is probably named after the guardian that protects this town. It'll probably die. Security here has been beefed up since the abduction. Strangely, abductions turn after a few duck D's turn after a few days. You know, the only good thing about play, playing while or having to read all the text in Wild Arms is that I actually have a good like hick or hillbilly or western or cowboy accent. You know, because I kind of live in the area. You get a lot of it. 
Use the duplicator, you can open the seal on a closed door. What's a duplicator? 30% of our population has been abducted. Strangely enough, most of the abductees were found near the cage tower. If you dream just want to check it out. Okay, I can give you the key that opened the sealed door. I have to stay at St. Satora to protect the people here. Will you do it? Sure. This is the key to the cage tower. Wherever you do find the tower is yours to keep. Thanks for your help. Prison wallet. <laughs> The FF15 BBEG was much better than the one from FF7, the voice actor and extra content. A lot to do with my opinion. Wait, what? You prefer Arden, Arden over Kefka as an FF villain? I... See, the thing is, it's hard to judge them. It's hard to judge, like, Arden versus Kefka because Arden obviously has way more depth being, like, you know made 25 years later, right? Uh, but for the era, Kefka was definitely a fantastic villain that, that stood up, that, 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 you know, stood up well to time. You know, Kefka still herald is one of the best villains ever. But, I mean, like, objectively speaking, Arden is just better. But it's kind of hard to say he's better just because he had 25 years of, of writing philosophy and game design philosophy behind him to support his, his growth, you know? I wonder what she says about the other people. Too many bitter experiences. You're a strong woman, but you have not reached your full potential yet. Maybe you should cut more hair off. Were you a kid when FF6 came out? Uh, I was, let's see, FF6 was 95, so I was 13. Ish. How wild are my arms? Wacky and wild, inflatable, flailing arm guy wild. That's how wild they are. X Death is best villain. <laughs> yeah, dude, like FF6 was so far ahead of its time in, in how it portrayed a story because it, it like essentially let the vill villains win, you know? Like nothing had ever really done that. Not, in, not, not to that capacity. Like, you really felt like the world was over. Like, you're like, what? But, but. <laughs> it's not my fault they give me things to play with I'm gonna play with them okay <laughs> it's like it's, it's like giving a child a gun and, and then getting mad at him for firing it you know <laughs> like, come on <laughs> that was rough <laughs> Far north, there's some rivers. Protected by the joints dimension. Oh, oh, the joint dimension. Oh, not okay. It's not 360 blaze it. But yeah, I, I grew up with uh, Intellivision NES and uh, SNES as a kid. I was uh, about an adult by the time PlayStation came out almost. But, um,. FF1 was my first RPG ever. By the way, speaking of Final Fantasy, uh, Cracktoon, if you're a fan of Final Fantasy, you should definitely stick around because I do an event called the Final Fantasy Fiesta. What that is, is it's a annual event that starts on the 1st of December where myself and Seven Sins 
race through the entire Final Fantasy main numbered franchise without being able to run away from any encounter whatsoever. So we have to fight everything. And we have a bunch of different challenges and uh, difficulties and stuff along the way. This year, we've already announced the first Final Fantasy incentive. We're doing the PSP version, and it's no using the fight command and no items. Well, assuming the incentives are met, of course. No fight command and no items. We're gonna have to find some efficient strategies to get through. There actually might be some grinding. <laughs> How are we gonna kill stuff? Spells, lots of spells. Let me spell it out for you. <laughs> uh. Yep, and of course no running, yeah. Hey, you, what are you doing here? Face the Demon Queen's RC on this stance. You don't do anything stupid or I'll arrest ya. I'll arrest ya. Hey, she ain't married now. Yes, no using items or weapons and armor as items. Which, by the way, is the main reason why we picked that incentive. Because every year, we just use items like the like the Thor Gauntlet and the Healing Staff to carry us through, and now we can't do that. So we're gonna have to be very particular in how we build our characters. Now, I will say that we're intentionally not doing the sealed temples. On top of that, like if we had that incentive too, we just never beat the game. Okay, you're in the way of my treasure chest, and I need you to die. I mean, I guess you could just leave, but, you know. Oh, okay. Dog will get tired eventually. Maybe if I get a better weapon, I can just... No, I don't want to hurt the poosh poochie. The poochie I'll give, like, a treat to and, and help get out of the way, but the lady, she can just jump in the fire. I don't care. I like how her weapon is much cheaper because it has less value. You know, they were smart about that. I should probably keep her stabs too, because I think they might do stuff. Oh, oh Rageson's resub. Oh gosh, Rageson. Yes, I, 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 I was talking about the Fiesta. I'm sorry, Rageson. Thank you for the 36 months of Prime, the three freaking years. Thank you, Sammy, for reminding me. I, I feel like such a doofy when I forget that stuff. A weapon of ultimate power just behind me. Yep, best weapon ever made, just behind me in this chest here. Why don't you just go and pick it up? Yeah, I, I, when I made a game on RPG Maker, it's the best game ever made called Horus Wiener Saga, of course. And I, I put a weapon of ultimate power in a box that you can't get. <laughs> like, it's literally impossible unless you can glitch the game. And I and I put a put a weapon in there. Like it's, It looks like it's just a box. That's just like whatever, but it's actually got a weapon in there. I should have named it the Excalibur, cause Excalibur go burr. You stupid dog. I'm gonna set the whole building on fire. I like how the arms are considered like forbidden technology, but like you can just go on down to the arm shop and hey, come on down to the arm shop and we'll customize your arms for you. It's forbidden technology, but you know, uh, come here anyway and don't arrest me. I kind of want to beat this up, but nah, I want to get some magic first. 
I just don't have enough money. Increases defense, absorb magic, avoid an attack, increase magic resistance, cast the evil on a weapon, overcome it with anger, cast holy on weapon, increase encounter rate. No. Probably break magic. Warp to dungeon entrance. Yes. Escape, a perfect name. Increased response, increased parry rate, that's cool. 50% attribute field. Mm, wake from sleep, recover senses. Ooh, reduced defense. Blind all enemies, cool. Confuse the enemy, thunder, magic group, win magic enemy, prevent magic use, silence. Spiritual attack random. Wait, I vaguely remember something good about that. Prison. All right, let's do this spiritual attack random thing. Valkyrie, okay, Valkyrie. There's no antidote, but I do see senses and, and other stuff. I have four graphs, so I'll do uh, this. Oh, revive. Oh, that's way better than I thought. <laughs> uh, we'll do wake from sleep, sure. I want to cleanse poison, though. High finger discount, yeah. Response. I'll do it in parry rate, yeah. That seems like it could be useful. Alright, one graph left. I think I'll do imprison enemy. I already have I already have like magic damage spells <laughs> we crafted an entire prison. Uh, I don't think I want to build up the hand cannon. I think it's probably weaker than just my attack right now. When str sword stronger than gun feels bad. I'm already. <laughs> key called the duplicator stored here anyone can open a sealed door with this item that is why it is under guard please leave probably i wonder if i come back and get that later giddy up partner Cage towers in the northeast used by capturing monsters. Make dry store in the map. Blah, blah, blah. It's like a giant cage. Okay.
meow, 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 meow. Hey, what are you doing? Get the fuck out. Bad kitty. Kitty, I, I got half my smack you across the face. Kid, I'll bop you good. I angered the IRL cats by petting the other cat in the game too much. I was abducted, but I'm fine. That's all I can do. Ow. I just, I just, I just kicked you out of the, I just kicked him out of the room and I closed the door and he opened the door and he's back in here. <laughs> Stay, kitty. Stay. No. Kitty, stay. No. Kitty. K kitty. Oh, my God. Fine. 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 Come on. Oh. Oh, are you happy, cat? Jeez. <laughs> hey, Seven, what's up, buddy? Thank you for the, the hose, dude. What's going on? How was your, how's the rest of your, oh. Cat, no! <laughs> Ouch! Cat doesn't want pets, he wants something else. He found where I was storing the treats, and uh, he's just going after it <laughs> and chewing everything in his sight. <laughs> I don't, I don't mind if he's in here. I love him. He's, he's a fantastic kitty, but he gets into stuff and he chews paper and plastic and. Uh, I can't police him while I'm stre streaming. Heck, I can barely even police him when I'm not streaming, you know? So, yeah. God damn it! What the hell? <laughs> what the hell, Kev? How are you getting back in? I'm closing the door! Freaking hell. All right. Hi, everybody. What's up, Seven? What's up? What's up, Sinners? Thank you for the host, Seven. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm currently battling the final boss of the game, which is my own cat, because he keeps opening the door and getting in here and causing trouble. But yeah, welcome in. This is Wild Arms. It's a good game. I think that's the portal I took into this place. I can't be sure. I think it's not actually. But I definitely need to go to the cage tower, that's for sure. Yeah, I came from there, okay. I've only ever played this one. I haven't played the others, but I do have them all. By the way, for those of you that don't know, Seven Sins, the gentleman who just hosted us, is my partner in crime for the Final Fantasy Fiesta. 
so you should definitely drop him a follow if you don't know him already. And, uh, for those of you coming in from Seven Sins channel, I am the other half of the Final Fantasy Fiesta, so, uh, yeah, I'll, we'll see you in a, well, we'll see you for sure, at least next month, when we start it up. One second. Oh yeah, locked, we'll see about that. That's what I thought. Your best friend Jer Jermaine and I used to play this game all the time, borrowing it from each other over and over. That's pretty rad, that's a rad story. We used to do that with Star Fox 64, trying to beat each other's uh, best scores on each map. What's up, JK? I've never chilled in my entire life, actually. Surprisingly. I know, it's, it's weird. No, I'm just kidding. This is our second day playing Wild Arms, by the way, for those of you coming in. And uh, I have played and beaten this game before, but it's been about 15 years. So it's essentially blind again, more or less. Also, I'm blind as bad as it is, you know. Oh, treasures. Cool. Well, I can get another spell. I don't know if there's another spell that I want. I know that there are better spells, so I'll probably just save my crest crafts at this point. You've heard of the series but never played it. Well, I know the I've only played the first one. The rest of them I have not really touched, so. They are games that I will eventually play though. Chibi turn-based, uh, it's not really the intent of the franchise to be chibi. It's just more of a limitation of the techno- because this was the first RPG to have 3D models pretty much ever. So it's more like they didn't really have a choice because technological limitation. And I'm pretty sure the following Wild Arms do not have, like, the little bobblehead style character models. To be fair, despite their chibi, small, awkward look, uh, they have better texturing than Final Fantasy VII, which came out after this game, by the way. So this predates FF7. Wait. Why would this go back down to the start? Oh, I think I know why. Yes, this predates FF7 by about six or eight months, something like that. Okay, so that was the other switch.
Suicoden 1 was one of the other games that came up before FF7, but this was, I'm pretty sure, the first RPG, the first JRPG to use... Well, the first JRPG on a on a well-known and, and respected console to use 3D models. I'm pretty sure the Sega Saturn had some of that stuff beforehand, but the Saturn was only really popular in Japan, and most of their RPGs were also sprite-based. Well, Suikoden 2 and Suikoden 1 are pretty much the exact same when it comes to, the, to the, gra the, the physical, like, pixel quality, but they definitely have much better animations on Suikoden 2 than they did on 1. Legend of Mana, though, definitely also very, very pretty. Yeah, right, like I was going to miss the treasures. Fight against, fight against Luca's your favorite moment in any JRPG. Wow. High praise. I felt Luca was the most generic and, and, and ridiculous villain ever, so... Like, he was textbook generic to me. And so I didn't really care for him that much. And while I think the fight with Luca was a really cool moment, it didn't really capture me very much because I thought Luca was such a bad character to begin with. So as much as I, I thought that it was a really well done moment, because of the generic quality of Luca, I just didn't care. The Luca goers. <laughs> hey Rocco, what's up buddy? So yeah, like I totally get it. That was a cool moment, for sure, absolutely. Stop right there, goers! We're gonna win or whatever! What in Yevin's name are you doing? Being an idiot! The sun rises from the east and sets in the west. The sun rises from the east again to light the path for the insecure. Hmm, interesting. Rise, rises in the east. Sets in the west. And rises again in the east for the insecure. I wonder if that's like an optional thing. Goat doll, goat doll, goat doll. Oh, I know what these are. These are, these are, these are scapegoats, basically, yeah. Uh, you could equip them to get it on a res. I get it now why it's insecure. I wonder what you get if you, if you, I wonder if you just, I wonder if you just do east-west. Oh, I heard, I, that's the one I used! Rage of Sin, never eat soggy waffles. That's what I did. 
to learn uh, Northeast Southwest. Oh, FF10 is absolutely fantastic. It's it's an insanely good video game. <clears throat> Titus is a fantastic character. People give him a lot of shit because of, you know, James Arnold Taylor and the ha-ha-ha scene, and they don't understand what is going on there, you know? But FF10 is an absolutely fantastic game. Probably the best story in any FF ever. It is absolutely brilliantly written. Your first Final Fantasy was X2? Yeah, wow, that is a miracle you ever played any of the others. <laughs> I don't I don't know why you'd start with X2 though. You just picked the newest one, yeah. That makes sense. Let's use heal berry since we got a whole bunch of them. I mean, playing any other FF is fine as your first one, you know? Like, it doesn't matter which Final Fantasy you start with. Because they're not connected. So playing with the one that was connected, you know, seems kind of weird. That's why I asked. But yeah, Final Fantasy 1 was also my very first RPG of all time, ever. I know, and I'm just seasoned well. Oh, wow. Nice angle. That's cool. I think I remember Calamity Jane or something up here. Oh. Uh. So, here are the humans working for the Guardians. You... This statue in the human town will be destroyed. Unlike Belselk, I don't like making a mess out of things. I'm gonna need a few minutes to complete my experiments in town. Here, you guys can play with my friend. I promise you won't be disappointed. I should probably have topped off before I started this. It's just the... Is, is it flying legs, or what is that? Let's just start with an attack, and, uh... You can do Sonic Buster, maybe it'll do extra because of the flyer. That did nothing. I don't know if that did something. Hard to tell. Our meteor dive. I 
That did much more something. <laughs> Zero! <laughs> good job, good job. Oh, man. a lucky dodge or else I would have died. Oh, oh, his shadow comes back! Wait, 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 why does the shadow, why does the shadow go away? Shadow keeps going away and then coming back. It's like it's running away and then it comes back. Okay, that's barely better than his attack. Well, that ray was quite mysterious indeed. I'm pretty sure Valkyrie is just like a, a, an assortment of elements, and that's why I did zero. It doesn't do like X damage per element, it just does all of them, so if you have any kind of vulnerabilities or, or immunities, it just does zero. Let's try armor down again, maybe it's a chance. Defense power lower 50%. Definitely mattered. <laughs> that definitely mattered. Oh, baby. Well, I'm glad I got defense down. Okay, let's see what Meteor Dive does now. I bet I bet I could I could attack with her for damage now. Yep, that's a lot more. Okay, she even does 100 on attack, which is terrible. I bet Flame would probably do more. It just makes me go fast. It doesn't really do anything. Oh my god. Kabeem! We'll see how much flame does. Oh my god. Yeah, the defense down, man. Yeah, it's, it's decent. So we just attack. I mean, I could use a carrot, right? I have a lot of carrots, but I don't think I need it. This guy doesn't really do a whole lot of damage. No sense in wasting stuff that I don't need. I don't. I don't think you can buy carrots either. So that's another reason to hang on to it. Boom. 
I'm pretty sure stat downs are permanent until you fix them too. That's awesome. Stat downs are powerful. As long as you can continue to hit a boss with them. A critical hit for 357, not bad. He keeps missing. Stop it. Maybe I will carry him. Not anymore, she don't. It was nice for a moment. We do. We have Disgaea D2, which, uh, from my understanding, plays exactly like a Disgaea game. It's just a sequel to one, like a direct sequel. Statue's in danger. We must get out of here. I wonder what Alza had meant by experiment. Can we do something about the barrier? Do you know of the Night Gaunt? Is it in this tower? Yes, I understand. So, this is the evil Night Gaunt? These people are just like us. They're bounty hunters. They apparently killed the Night Gaunt. Master, what should we do? Yeah, do something, will you? So, you want to get out, huh? Uh, how much is it worth to you? You have my bounty and I need cash. Money? You want money? We're trying to save the world and you're asking for money? Give me a break! I don't give a damn what you're trying to save. All I care about is money. It's as simple as that. Damn it. How much do you want? Uh, how about 2,000 gela? There's no way we could pay that much. Like I said, I don't really care. Do you want... Do you want out or not? No. Nothing's gonna happen if you stay in there, you know. One more time, pay 2,000 or stay in there. Don't pay. Nothing is gonna happen if you stay in there, you know. One more time. But thou must. But thou must. Fine. That's more like it. Watch this. Just like Hong Kong, she uses an arm. Yeah, everybody uses two arms, idiot. I'm Jane Maxwell. I'm all I'm known locally as the most beautiful woman here, next to my sister. She's known as Calamity Jane in some parts. This little girly is Calamity Jane? What's wrong with being a little girl? Don't tell me. Don't tell him anything, Madullen. Uh, excuse me. Where is my money? We had a deal, remember? Hand it over 2,000 gela. A deal's a deal. Don't hate me. See ya. <laughs> yes, her name is Calamity Jane. This whole entire game is like Western theme. Well, it's like fantasy Western, I guess. But like also fantasy and also Western. West Dynasty. It's like a Final Fantasy was a Western. Where's Will Smith? Yeah, I'd like to know too. Wild Wild West. Yeah, he's currently building his backstory in Bel Air.
You know what? I do have a ski. That's fine. I'll just walk out. Independence Day came out in 96. Wow. A meme that's... No, 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 no. Sun Top. You're, you're mistaken. It's not really, like... It hasn't really become a meme until rather, rather recently, to be perfectly honest. It was only the popularity of, of like, plain retro... Well, it's not even popular. It's, it's like... A meme is kind of a meme when it's widely known by the, the, the populace, you know, as this joke. And it's kind of a niche thing, even amongst us, like RPG fans, not everybody's gonna know that. So it's not really a meme. And it only really became a meme-ish, like maybe three or four years ago, once like Twitch kind of started to become more well-known and, you know, speedrunning specifically in retro games put Dragon Warrior on Twitch to begin with, you know? So, like, 20 years ago, no one, nobody said, but thou must, as a joke, you know? But it's definitely become a little bit of a trope within the Dragon Quest franchise. Wild Wild West was June 30th, 1999, okay. Yeah, of course, like within within the Dragon Quest, well, actually I would say that it wasn't until like the, the 2000 era when they started putting it in a lot of their games, right? Because they didn't have a, a But Thou Must in two or three or four on the NES anyway. There's something there. There's a box there. There's a weird looking box. What is this? You must be able to synchronize with the arm in order to open this up. Prism laser arm acquired. I need to keep an eye out for those kinds of boxes. I may have missed some arms not knowing what the box looked like. I'm glad I walked out instead of, uh, instead of teleporting out now because I would have missed an arm. And, you know, if I was missing an arm, then I'd be blamed for killing my wife all the time because it wasn't me, it was the one I man. <laughs> Whatever. Paid attention to this almost cost you an arm and a leg. Well, at least an arm. Hey, Fiddle Team, take it easy, dude. Have a good one. So, like, I I, I paid attention because I definitely went on that platform to get those treasures to begin with. It's just a very, like, it blends in a little bit, you know? It kind of just seems benign. It feels like it would just look like a tile, a weird tile, you know?
Let me guess, everybody's gonna be a zombie when I get back. Background guys, you too. Where the streamer is sometimes actually blind. I am not a robot. I am a human being person with human being flesh and bones and skin and blood. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. There's no one here. Just some different beds. Take a rest? Sure. I, can't, I cannot whistle that high. I really want to, though. I love it. it makes me feel good. What level am I now? Still 15. Oh, right, of course, because I just saved it. Well, the good news is that I can get all those treasures that I couldn't before, starting with this one. Ambrosia. Yeah, I've had my router for, like, years now, man. That's a... Uh... Scary thought. used to be the doggy. Lucky card. What does that do again? Oh, yeah. Yeah, usually you're only borrowing the equipment is usually how the contracts work. Sorry, it was refreshing Discord there. Because it was bugging out on me, I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. Did you know you can make your Discord animo? Check this. I can make, I made my Discord animo. When you log in, it does this. Discord. Animu Discord. It's built right into Discord. It's not a modification of any kind. Hey, Sylvia, what's up? Let's get the key first, and then go to the statue. Mm. I know I have notes on this. Uh, 
Magic key door question mark Adelheid Castle by Kitchen. And I need a hook shot for the Lithia Ruins entrance. Okay. Nyactus turned one. Oh man, has that been that that long already? Wow. Meow 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 meow. Meow 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 meow. My favorite part about this game is a lot of the sound effects sound like like it's a sci-fi game. It's like pew, 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 meows, and also cats meowing. But it's like a western, you know. Oh, the statue's dead. F, F for F and chat for statue Chan. We failed to save statue Chan. Statue Chan is dead. Sorry, we didn't do it. We didn't save the world! The statue is speaking directly into my mind. I am the sacred spirit, Ione Power. My powers are weakening. Take what I have left and use it against the demons. Saint Rune. Now the piece of the Demon Queen's heart has been released. There's only one left. Let's hurry to the town of Timony. Timmy! We must reclaim the teardrop before they use it to wake their queen. The entire town is empty. Everyone must have just disappeared. Demons must have done this. All this just to get at the statue. Even took all the dogs and cats. Destroy all the save points. Please, all I have to do is just not game over. You ever heard of a speed run? Oh, that's a weird musical glitch there. I was transitioning to a cutscene. I can hear the voice of pain. The voice of sadness. I can feel the screams of the human fools releasing me from these cursed chains.
We're almost there. The Gael is practically ours. I'm still concerned about the humans who contacted the Guardians. You screwed up again, not once but twice. I think these humans are too much for you to handle. Why don't you let me take care of them? I'm sure I can accommodate them. Daviel, nah, just you wait. Stop it, Bellsome. She's right, you know. The Uhs and the human have shown abnormal abilities when pushed into a corner. We can't afford any mistakes until their revival of our photosphere and Lord Mother is completed. Not you too, Zeke. I'll show you, I'll show everyone what Bellsome can do. I will bring the heads of those humans and line them up right here. Guardians or not, they are history. You have such a temper, my fellow Duke. Here, let me see what I can do. Do what you like. It's been a thousand years since we came here. The last of our home world, Hyadis. We came to this planet to make it our home. Power Rosal. This place would belong to us only then. When we dot 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 forced exposition. Yeah, there's a f that's some mega forced exposition. Like, let me just talk to myself about a plot point and then just leave that plot point alone and cut the, the scene. Super, super duper forced exposition. It would be better if, like, we discovered, like, their their wreckage or something and we gathered some information. We're like, wait, are these, are these from the stars or what? What the hell? Yeah, is, is this, is this going to turn into one of those arguments where, like, People are like, oh, you can't complain about bosses healing because you get to heal. You can't complain about not having save points because bosses don't have save points. Butterfingers new promos. Buy two Butterfingers and get a free week of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. All one has to do since they want it is a photo of the receipt. So what you can do is buy two candy bars a day 52 times. Get a year of free Ultimate. What do you do with the candy? You eat it, I'd imagine. That's the point. They want you to buy their product and consume it. Butterfingers are gross? How dare you? How dare you? I don't even know you anymore. Who are you? They're not hard to eat either. What? How are, how are Butterfingers hard to eat? They're like, they're like soft little crispy thingies. Wow, you guys have some terrible opinions. Butterfinger is like one of the better candy bars out there. No, that's the thing, you don't chew a Butterfinger. You let it melt in your mouth and you can just you can just break it up with your tongue. This land contains the lightning statue which seals the evil heart. You don't you don't chew a butterfinger and let it get stuck up all anything everything. It just melts in your mouth, man. What do you do? Just scarf down the chocolate and swallow it before you taste it? What? <laughs> How else are you supposed to, like, enjoy the, the candy if you don't let it rest in your mouth a little bit to, to capture the flavors? Beyond the El Pyramid is a path to the enchanted world blocked by a magical door. Okay. Danger, do not enter the desert. We will be eaten you will be eaten alive. Oh, okay. The IMO Butterfinger is one of the best, like, generic candies out there. Like if, like for, as far as store bought candy bars go from cheap companies, Butterfinger is one of the better ones. return the candy if you really care that much about saving a buck 50 there's nothing really stopping you is there <laughs> you know you're 
to your ammunition? Yeah. I mean, I do prefer Kit Kats more, and I think Twix is also better. But to say uh, to say that Butterfinger sucks, man, I, I can't, I can't, I can't trust you guys anymore. I'm sorry, I can't trust you. It's almost four dollars for two candy bars. There's no way that's true. That's no, there's no way that's true. No way. I don't believe you. I mean, I haven't bought candy bars in like 20 years probably, but still, I don't believe you. Other people were saying it sucks on top. There's more than you in this channel, I'm afraid. <laughs> a king size. Okay, so about two and a half bucks for two of them. I think the prism ray is AoE. Coffee is fifty dollars. Yeah, I'm still sold. Same weapons. Okay, good. Butterfinger in Eastern Canada? I lived in Ontario for five years and I found Butterfingers there just fine. Well, I mean, there were there were normal candies there. I didn't really buy any, but you know. Fuck. Coffee crisp, the coffee crunch, coffee crisp, I don't know. A Starbucks slave leader. Wow, what a title. Convenience store and grocery store, not so much. Aren't the prices the same between the two? Coffee Chris bar good, yeah. They're a little awkward texture-wise, but I mean it's coffee and chocolate. Like you can't go wrong. Convenience stores tend to be more expensive, really. I mean, I, I don't really buy candy, so I never I guess I never really knew. I, I legitimately have not really bought candy in a very, very long time. But I mean, back when back when I was buying candy, it was like 75 cents for regular and a buck fifty for a king size. Usually, which was funny because king size wasn't even twice as much; it was less than twice as much. But you paid twice as much. Wait, what was it? A crystal bud. <laughs> 360 blaze it right fellow 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 kids huh yeah ha 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 i'm rich i party every day ha 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 said literally no one ever wow what realistic dialogue you did die in there because i exploded you what are you doing aren't you little to be playing hide and seek yeah, no, 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 no. Well, I was being reprimanded. Well, thanks for the help. I should thank you in some way. Then he just runs off. I wonder what he did. Oh. Here, pickpocket. We won't take dirty money. Help oh, PC. Who cares how I earn my living? Money's money. Fine, I'll go return it. You'll regret it. 
Don't look at me like that. I only steal from the rich. They're usually really dumb. Just distract them with a little. And they're defenseless. Even novices can learn how to pick a pocket. Just distract the target. Thus concludes my lesson on how to pick a pocket. Strange guy. He knows his trade, I suppose. Hey, hun. Hey, hun, pal. Let's give it a try. Are we reducing ourselves to stealing now? No. You're going to take a look inside the monster's pocket while I fight them. I'd love to... I'd have to go inside their pockets? Who knows what they keep in there? The works will be like treasure hunters. We already are, remember? Sweet. Wasn't there a crate down here yet? Monsters wear pants? Probably. Can't figure it out. Captain Bartholomew doesn't have a normal sense of love. Last time we... Dot, dot, dot. Got down to business? Had the sex? The town of St. Centaur, there's a magic key called Duplicator. Oh yeah, there's one here too. Truly, we can understand now why monsters are considered evil. They wear pants. I've gotten myself into. If I don't stop drinking, it's gonna get the better of me. The Crystal Bud is in the maze of death. I heard there are many monsters in that place. Who am I gonna find there to... How, who am I going to get to find the entrance of the desert of the west and retrieve the Crystal Bud? Wow, could, could you be a little less specific? You're being too ambiguous and I can't understand exactly the precise things that you're saying to me. Who will I find to go to the desert maze of death directly to the west of us, which is the next dungeon in the video game? Might as well just slap you in the face, player. Craig's gonna have a field day when he finds out. Ever since I found the Guardian statue, weird things have been happening. The statue this drunken fool is talking about, could it be? The statue is here, I know it. We must get this crystal bug. Then he may get a chance. Ba -da -da. Like, I always complain about a game being too ambiguous, but I also complain about a game being too direct, too. There's a, there's a, there's a happy medium where you can let the player know where they need to go without being like, Golly, I don't know what I will do when I am thinking about this thing out loud, which makes no sense to be so specific about that is directly to this direction and is called this and this is where it is at. And also let me write you a, draw you a map randomly as I think about my thoughts out loud to any passerby that might hear them. You know, you, you could just be like, you could walk in and they'd be having a conversation and make it a little more natural. And they talk about the crystal bud and then, you know, you go, hey, what's this about? And then they go, oh, well, you know, this, that, or the other. It's this crystal bud thing. It's in the desert to the west and there's a bunch of monsters there. I don't know what I'll do. Oh, okay. Well, it's to the west. Okay, interesting. It's just another dungeon with the same tile set, just slightly blue tint tinted instead. It's, I thought I was going to get like some cool desert dungeon thing, and instead it's just literally the same dungeon, just with a different tint as every other dungeon. <laughs> Castle tile, slightly blue tinted. Ah, creepy dolls. Let's kill them. They're monkeys? Not Zelda. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ooh, Trezzy. I choose you, Trezzy. Trezzy, Chew. Wait, 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 wait. Did this make a path for that? Okay. <laughs> I thought the game didn't expect me to get the treasure that way. So I was like, wait, did I just make a pass with the treasure that I already got? <laughs> They have like a 125 HP almost exactly, and I barely didn't kill it. Oh, the OS2 in this game is fantastic, Tagraneth. Have you not played this before? One of the best OSTs of the era, I would say. The only weird thing is when you attack things and they sound like, sound like random animals. Yeah, stream it if you want, if that's something you, you think you're interested in. <clears throat> You've really just, out of the PS1 RPGs, played Final Fantasies, Chrono Cross, and like Star Ocean 2. Well, I could recommend quite an array of PS1 RPGs for you to play and enjoy. All right, I'm fixing that right now, damn it. I hit save a bunch of times, and I don't know if it saved it or not, but it should be fixed. This feels like the right way. Yeah, I should just let the monsters beat the snot out of me, huh? Huh. 
Zelda looks weird in this game. Why does he have why does he have blue hair? Why does Zelda have blue hair in this game? I don't get it. Zelda had pink hair in Link to the Past because the color palette restrictions of the SNES. There were a bunch of other blonde characters and they wanted to differentiate between them, so they gave him pink hair. Yeah, but for anybody else that might not know, it's a neat little a neat little uh, wisdom or pop culture knowledge. Zelda was a grill, then we could enjoy some burgers and brats. Yeah, hot grill. Oops. Okay. So I think those statues have been moving those statues around, which is inevitably going to give me access to a treasure. There's a lot of that actually, Cracktoon. There's a lot of these uh, color changes that were made due to the palette limitations of the in, uh, in SNES. 254 colors, if I'm not mistaken, were the limitation of the SNES. Or 256, I don't, I don't know if it's the divisible by ideal or not. Hello, I'm here from Lurky Supports. I hope you enjoy yourself tonight. Oh, thanks, Finn. you played this before, haven't you? Unless it was one of those, like, you never thought you would ever play this game, and then you gave it to me, and then now you want to play it. Things. <laughs> Finn gave me this game, by the way. Phenomenon, uh, I used to have Wild Arms 1 and 2, and I lost it. Well, I didn't lose it. It's, it got robbed for me, more or less. And that was part of my childhood revival list that I was doing years ago, and Finn's like, hey, I never will play these games, because that's not the content that I stream. And uh, then it was, but yeah, he, he, he's the one that restored both Wild Arms 1 and 2 to my collection. And if, I feel bad because now he's looking for those games. <laughs> he's legitimately looking for those games now to, to, to stream them. Oh, you have Wild Arms 1 now. Oh, cool. So you can at least start on the franchise, you know, if somebody votes them in. That's cool. Very cool. Visitation play date, yeah. Yeah, I can give you, like, maybe two hours a week, you know, supervised, of course, uh, with the, uh, the game disc. going to you. You're coming here if you want to visit visit your your child, okay? If you want to visit your little baby, you gotta come here. You find the mediator, alright? You understand me? This conversation is over. Oh no, there's still one more. I was picking up Wild Arms 2 from school. No, he doesn't need to visit Wild Arms uh, 1 anymore, so it's just Wild Arms 2 that we're talking about already. Issues. 
It just dropped into the orange and the yellow, but we didn't drop any frames. Alright, there's still one more statue out there we gotta find. Oh dear, now we're dropping frames. Usually my connection's very stable. But we just dropped a few frames. It wouldn't be Ginger that would be eating the wires. It would definitely be Coconut, but my door's closed. There's no cats in here. There are no cats in America, and the roads are paved with cheese. I don't think it's anything on my end. Yeah, I mean, they've definitely done it before, option. The, the coconut was chewing on the tag that was, like, the the tag for the, the hardware was right uh, at the base of the plug. And he was chewing on it and tried to pull on it to, you know, to get at it more and ripped out the cord. That was a great day. Not really. Leveling seems a bit slow. Isn't this where I went originally? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's where I went originally. then. Fine. A singular cat zombie. Oh, it doesn't make a cat sound when you hit it. Awkward. There we go, we found it. Out of my way, nerd. Zombie dogs would likely travel in, in, uh, in between dimensional spaces, actually, if Ephemeral Fantasia is to be uh, taken seriously, you know?
The Great Biology Textbook, Ephemeral Fantasia. You know, I always take everything from Ephemeral Fantasia at face value and truth, of course. For instance, uh, assuming that I'm the main character of Ephemeral Fantasia, which is which is canon, you know, I'm very attractive and very good with women, and everybody loves me, especially the ladies. Which is just science, as we just discovered. Oh, I don't have Mystic. All right, whatever. I was gonna try and save myself some some uh berries, but whatever, they're like 20 freaking gella. Like I care. Like I care. Whatever. How's wild arms? Uh wild. It's a wild experience that we're having and, and arms and arm very army. <laughs> The DualSense controller will work with the Nintendo Switch. I, hmm, yeah, I mean, it's probably USB 3, right? So it'll just plug right in and the inputs are, are detected the same way. So, I mean, makes sense. Like, it, it feels like that makes sense, logically, you know? I mean... But will games be programmed to work with it? That much, I doubt. Looks like a flower. A crystalline mist covers it. Crystal bud. The whole temple shaking is starting to crumble. Wow, that was a load-bearing treasure, apparently. The haptic feedback? It will if it's programmed for it. Hey, Durian, what's up? What's up, what's up, what's up? Interesting new track. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to have a PS5 as well. I might have time to actually play PS5 games now that uh, Cyberpunk has been delayed, so we'll see what uh, comes out with it. I might play it, I might be able to play some PS5 games. I might even be able to finish DQ7 actually. Like I might be able to start and finish DQ7 before the Fiesta starts because I have a lot more extra time now that uh, <laughs> now that Cyberpunk isn't coming out this year, so yeah. And I don't really want to start any big project right now. So if I beat DQ6 like next week, then it, it we have Yakuza 7 and DQ6, and DQ6 is going to be done soon. And then I'll have Yakuza 7. And then what? You know? Half a month of nothing? So I might just pop in DQ7 and, and see if we can't finish it before the Fiesta starts. I know it's a long game, but if I put nothing else on the schedule and just DQ7 and viewer choice, we could finish it. We could finish it in two weeks easy. I know it's a long game, but what is that like? Uh... Four streams, they say 24, it's 30 hours a week, 60 hours. They can finish it. December 1st, every year, my friend. Get him, Jack Smoke Song, Barden Extra Explo Extraordinaire. Barden Extraordinaire, Explorinaire, Explorinaire, Extraordinaire, Schmorgensborden. How 
How do I get to those treasures down there, though? But you know what? I think I know how to get to them. The cell building's coming down, but there are treasures to be gotten. <laughs> the texture and all these dolls looks really weird because of limited polygons, but it's funny. Well, to be fair, an actual the actual battles wouldn't take that long if I'm just hitting them once with a sword because like turn-based makes everything last longer, right? So, I mean, I think it's fair. Fighting chaos. Oh yeah, I forgot to be using this. Oh well. Well, let's do it anyway because I, I could learn it and steal. You know what? Actually, let's uh, let's let's play safe here. Let's let's uh, let's heal Barry up. That way you can go and do armor down to save on damage done. Why do I feel like I'm going to get one shot? It feels like this is some kind of hidden boss. That was a lot of damage. Didn't get one shot though. Defense up? No, but I have air screen. Let's actually just cast the heal. That's not good. Doodling, you're silenced. Okay, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. I can safely just cure her silence with an item and then use... Oh, he, he sounds... Okay. Only four Violet Roses. Uh, yeah, we'll risk it for now. Well, oh, Jesus Christ. Damn straight, Moody Robot. Gotta think of those treasures. <laughs> Thank you, Moody Robot, for the three dollar fifty cent donation, dude. Thank you. Gotta think about those treasures. Okay, there's a lot of status effects. I don't like it. anything like your sleep. Cool. Great. This is insane. I, I can't do anything about this. This is just crazy. Consciousness is a revive, it's death.
Can't hit your own allies. Well, it's not as bad anymore, the damage anyway, so I think we're fine. If silence goes away eventually, then it'd also be fine because uh, then at least I could try to wait it out with items, you know? I don't know if it does. I have seen a lot of status effects like poison go away over time, so it's possible silence goes away too. But I only have one more Violet Rose, and I'm not going to use it on Thief. Even though he would start doing a lot more damage. I should have healed Thief. I wonder if it's increased parry rate, like by 25% or 25% of current parry rate. Like, is it 10 to 35% or is it like 10 to 12 and a half percent, you know? Probably just a flat 25% increase, but it's interesting to think about and I wonder exactly what it is, but we'll figure it out later apparently. Chaos looks a bit lewd. Well, it's a, it's a dude, so if you think pecs are lewd, then yeah. Oh, dude, the silence did fall off. Sick. I don't think I've seen him attack, so this air screen is probably pointless, but yeah. nothing. Trickster has been mastered. Um, uh, video game? Video game! It keeps playing random sound effects. Elgato, please. I don't use an Elgato. I use good. I have a good capture card. Well, <laughs> good attempt. Good attempt. I have a hex hex cap HD.
Media vision. We give you the vision of your game freezing. I'm just teasing about Elgato's. The thing about Elgato's is uh, it's hard to get a good El Elgato. And most of them are external, and only the ones that are USB 3 are actually any good. Oh, the wall isn't even cracked up there. Okay, that's why the save point goes away too. Interesting. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. Oh, nothing I can do here. No immunity to silence or anything. I could go back to town and grab... Grab some Violet Roses. I guess there's not an item that cures sleep. Legacy of Kane Soul Reaver getting a PS5 remaster? Interesting. That game could benefit greatly from a remaster. Oh, the article's from May. Oh, okay. It's possible I sealed my own fate. I bounce my leg a lot because that's just what I do. I bounce my leg and it does cause the desk to shake. It's possible I caused the PS2 to freeze there, but it's pretty doubtful because I mean, <laughs> I bounce my leg all the time. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's unlikely that's what caused it, but you know, whatever it happens. That's the, I guess you could say it's the penalty of playing on hardware, but it really isn't because non-hardware can still fail just as much. In fact, I would say I have more experiences with non-hardware failing than with hardware failing. Maybe it's Chaos's ultimate move. Made up and bait? Not necessarily. It's not necessarily made up. They might have they might have planned for it and then canceled it, or they still are doing it and we just haven't heard anything new. Who knows? That's the nature of these things, you know? Also, it wouldn't be really good bait. Like, there aren't that many people that really 
are dying for a Soul Reaver action, you know? It was a relatively not super popular. I mean, it wasn't unpopular. It's just not like people are like, oh yeah, I need it. My uncle does work at Nintendo. And yeah, there's definitely a, leg a lot of legitimate leaks that go to 4chan, but you just get a, the cesspool of the internet, the worst upon, up, upon worst people you can imagine. So, I mean, there's a lot of bullshittery and nonsense there as well. Yeah, I wonder too, VG, because it absolutely matters, right? You you reduce your encounters if you move well. What's that poison stuff on the ground? Poison stuff. What do you call a perverted undead who exposes himself a flash of white yeah it's definitely one of uh, the the ones uh, from your alert <laughs> <laughs> oh really? It was yours originally, huh? Interesting. You even made it up like you didn't like look it up. It was just completely your idea. That's pretty good.
Excuse me. Well, this will already be better because I'm not starting off healing myself. I gotta see if we can stack that. <clears throat> Purple electric. <laughs> Done doing things. Relaxing time. Uh oh, I just hit it for six six six. It did nothing, but it could have just been a chance. But I think it should just do damage now. Gamma ray, pew pew. We could be here all day if you just want to spam Gamma Ray. I'm cool with that. I think it was younger. I loved it. I have, I have it on PSN. I just wondered how bad. Wow. The freezing issues are, I think, the only time so far is when the froze when summoning the water guardian whose name I can't quite remember against Chaos. The game locked up during the animation and it was making a little buzzing noise. That's funny. Don't hit Stinky, I'd be really mad if that happened. How is she not going first? She has all my, she was going her first before. And she, oh, okay, great, oh good, this is fantastic. This is utter BS. She should have gone first and healed herself. And now I'm just all low HP, all silenced, all sleeping. Nothing I can do. Okay, good. Shit. <laughs> what the fuck? You kidding me? She's silenced, so she can't unsleep everybody. Oh, I'm so glad I cleansed that silence.
All right, I think we made a recovery-ish. Or he is being way meaner this time around. Way, 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 way meaner. We had like two gamma rays last time and now it's been two, or it's been like almost every turn. experience. Well, that's really good. I should use one of those double XP items. Death. It isn't the end, but a new beginning. Our civilization bound by chaos has turned your world into a temple of death where nothing survives. Innocent one, release me from this land and use my powers to revive the dying land of Filgaia. Let's do it. That's not that much defense. Now we gotta get out of here in a minute and a half, or we lose all of our progress there. The art for Breath of Fire 6 was really, really good, yeah. You know what would be great is if, is if they took all the assets from Breath of Fire 6 and, like, actually made a legitimate Breath of Fire game, and just called it, like, a Breath of Fire 6 remake, and just or just called it, like, actual Breath of Fire 6, you know what I mean? Instead of whatever we got there. <laughs> yeah, Breath of Fire 6 Nina is really freaking good looking. Same with Breath of Fire 6 uh, Ryu, to be honest. But yeah, it would be awesome if we could get those art assets into an actual new Breath of Fire game, you know? Like, just just pretend Breath of Fire 6 never happened, and then new, new Breath of Fire 6 with those art assets would be fantastic. Call, or just call it Breath of Fire and do a reboot. That's also a, an option, yeah. I'm going to save it first because of that game freeze. What's up, Kujo? You have the crystal bud. I need it really bad. I can't explain right now. Will you sell it for 5,000 gala? No. Please, I need the crystal bud. Are we doing the sailor great honor? No. Fine. Crystal bud is a token of engagement in these parts. Which is weird because there's literally only one in the entire world, so I guess... 
only one person ever can get married, which is really kind of weird. Don't know why that's a thing when it makes no sense, but hey, you know what? I'm a fish out of water when it comes to these things. It's nice to meet you. I'm Captain Bartholomew. Bart Hollow Hollow Mew. Bart Hollow Mew. I'm liking it. Yeah, Kuja. It's way better than I remember. Hey, Bartholomew. Short as usual, huh? That's a crystal bud. When did you... Good time and drink. Care to smell like crystal bud? <laughs> yeah, it smells nice and skunky. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, Barthy. But even if you have the crystal bud, you still need a mate. Where do you think you're gonna find someone to marry your ugly mug? <laughs> you blind? She's standing right next to me, you dumb baboon. <laughs> oh, her? I didn't notice. She looks way old, way older than the. Ew! Ew! <laughs> Ew! She turned 17 at the beginning of the game. Ew! Ew. She's not some old lady. She literally turned 17 at the start of the game, the day of the game. It's like, she looks way older than your preferred age groups. Ugh, that's the point. Yeah, it's way older. It's not older, it's way older. Big ol' yikes, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Corsair. Sorry, she's above normal standards. I mean, having two legs and all. We're getting married soon. <laughs> Good, we'll hold the wedding tomorrow then, okay? Oh. Okay, there there you have it. I look forward to tomorrow's festivities. God, I just got majorly schemed out. I did it again, me and my big dumb mouth. <laughs> what in the world are you gonna do now, old boy? Excuse me, but we're on our way to... We must go through with it, the wedding. I must deceive them or I'll be laughed out of town. No, you don't mean... You shouldn't lie, you know. I can't... It's too late. You're in on this till the end. Dude, are, how am I in on this? Either way, they will think you are in on this, my scheme. I shall give you the tower, the tour of my ship, sweet candy. We must plan for, for tomorrow. Weird fade outy thingy, but hey. So we're finally on my ship, sweet candy. The many special rules that sailors of the inner sea must follow. One rule is for the groom to provide a place for the ceremony to occur. Don't look at me, I feel guilty too. Well, the fake wedding is tomorrow regardless. You guys read up on the customs by tomorrow, okay? I don't like this. We're here to look for the statue, not get mixed up in all of this. Give it up, princess. Because of this, we're able to get on board the ship. It's the only way to get to the statue. Even though we never really previously talked about the wait, need for- what? 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 <laughs> oh, hello, Jobin! Hi! <laughs> Jeez! Well, hello to you! Thank you for the, the freaking 10 gift subs, dude! Wow! Hi! <laughs> Thank you! He has to practice! Oh my god! Oh, I will have sub incentives actually for the fiesta, just so you guys know. I mean, not for the fiesta, but usually you guys are very generous with the sub gifts during the fiesta, and I want to be able to give back. And I and I didn't have anything ready for you guys, so this year I am going to be ready. I will have sub incentives for you guys as well, so that you can get something back instead of it, you know, just being your pure generosity, which is humbling as all hell, but still. You know, like two years ago, what did I do? I sang Eyes on Me just off the, off the, out of the blue because it's like, look, it w I would have been, that would have been a sub incentive I'd do anyway. So let's just freaking do it. You guys were so awesome. So I just did it. Right. But yeah, thank you, Chobin, for the 10 sub gifts. Thank you. But yeah, like they never once mentioned that we had to go across the sea or anything they they even said that it was the, the statue was just here didn't say across the sea anywhere or anything but now we apparently needed this boat i guess we never really talked about that <laughs> I, I guess i think you're having too much fun when it's tomorrow shouldn't you be reading up on the rules or something
Although, yes, I'd like to save the game. What is tomorrow? You need to conserve your energy. Would you like to rest? Oh. Peed in the ocean, and the ocean guardian, Locadia, got angry. Well, what about all the fish that pee in the ocean and have sex in the ocean? What about them? They don't. They, Locadia doesn't care about them. Get out of my way! 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 Wasn't it even freaking anything there? Drake knows the, the wedding is fake and he's still going to try to make a move on you anyway. That's my prediction. It's like we're supposed to be relieved and then he's going to pretend like it's real. And he's like, come on, man. Come on, girl. We're wet married now. Let's get down to business. Can we say something that was mentioned story-wise? Usually I say no if I forget, but go for it. Do I pee in the ocean? Well, I don't live near the ocean, so not on a regular basis anyway. It was mentioned that Bartholomew found a statue. Yeah, but it didn't mention that it was across the waves or anything. And, then, and they never said where the statue was when we were talking about it. They were just like, we need to go to this town to get the other statue. That was it. In fact, I didn't even know he was a sailor until we uh, we were like, hey, we could take a tour of my boat. I didn't even know he was a sailor. Like, I read all the dialogue out to you people, you know? The captain's fiance is Olivia Claire. Wait, why doesn't he just... Why doesn't he just marry his fiance then? What? If he already has a fiance, how is she taking this? You don't pay attention when I talk? Yeah, I wouldn't either. I don't blame you. The statue of a monster in the cargo hold. Skipper got it as a fee for passage from a merchant. I'm sure it has no value. Where are all these rules at anyway? I thought they said the statue was in the cargo hold. That is the that is the bow of the ship, not the cargo hold. Or that's the stern. Stern is the back of it, right? Whatever. Definitely not the cargo hold. Maybe they have an open relationship. I mean, I'm not judging, but you know. Until she says otherwise, I'm gonna. The marriage is unwanted, and tradition dictates that one holds the ceremonial cup in the left hand. Don't worry, this marriage is supposed to be fake. But we want everyone to believe it was a wanted marriage. So hold the cup in the right hand. Busy day begins. Hey, Argo, thank you for 26 months of Twitch Prime. Them pixels looking fly. We're gathering here under the eyes of the guardian. Right, what is your name? Stinky. <laughs> Olivia Claire. Who was, I thought they were saying, I thought they were booing. Who is the man you're giving your love to? Bartholomew. What is the name of the ship that will be your second home? This isn't a this isn't a marriage. This is a quiz show. 
The <laughs> quest shell! What will guide you through the maze of life? The old man. And hold up the glass and continue, right hand. A jewel of the future. Crystal bud. What num what number are we? What? <laughs> Eighth? For the happiness of today, praise the name of the sea guardian, Lucadia. You may kiss the bri the bridge. Oh, the bride. Okay, go for it. How oh, stinky. I'm very particular. Stop right there! <laughs> I have it this time. My name is Zed. I will hack the statue into pieces with my blade. I hate this guy already. I'm pretty sure this... I'm pretty sure this guy is, uh, what's his name? Albel Knox. Albel Knox. Statue of the Seal is the one of the demons. I'm feeling great today, and so does my blade. <laughs> <laughs> he's lively, all right. No, he's just dumb. <laughs> uh, Freaking got him. <laughs> you so-called warriors will die before your sacred statue. I like this battle music. Come now, it's my debut. Oh, I didn't re redo my bullet thingies. Doom bringer. Does he even have a face? I can't tell. He just looks like a melted, rotting pumpkin with green hair. Garyu Ichimagori. Eh. Cecilia's special victory pose? I don't know what you're talking about. I literally have no idea what you're talking about. One more month to the Fainaru Fantasy Fiesta. Then you just farted at me. Two hundred and twenty. Not bad. Uh, kind of disappointed in Valkyrie for the MP consumption. It just does zero for 
way too often. Doom bringer or small amount of damage bringer is more accurate. Meager amount of damage bringer. Oh. Hey, this isn't fair. It's three on one. But next time, it'll be one on one. 1400 experience. Think he has gained a level. This time, next time won't be so easy! Glad we fought well against that fool. We saved the statue. Uh, now here too! Here too? Here too what? Don't damage the ship. I have to fix it, you know. Wait, ah! So I have to work after all. That fool was a decoy. Jeez. So you're an expert with fast draw, huh? <laughs> Looks more like a fat draw than a fast Looks like a sockeye if there's something. Yeah, got you too. Oh, okay, that was particularly easy to do. Oh uh, yes, the classic villain trope of you don't deserve to die by my hands, even though I could totally just one-shot you, even though we know that you've been a thorn in our side and we want you to be taken care of, but I'll let you live for now because of other reasons. This is the worst. I hate that. I <laughs> it's so 90s. You don't deserve to dive in my hands. Even if the seal is broken, my wishes will be carried out by the innocent one. Take my power and let the battle begin. I am Nua Shax. Okay, and I will fight by your side. Anybody got some 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 snacks? Some Nua snacks? Any newish snacks out there that are really good? I like hearing about new snacks. Thunder rune acquired. The last of the seals has been broken. Oh, 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 oh. We cannot stop the resurrection of the mother. The teardrop my mother gave me is going to be used to destroy the world, and it's all because I foolishly gave it away, even though my father explicitly said, do not give it away, it is the savior of humanity. But I decided that I should disobey him because he was dying anyway, what do I care, right? 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 Like, right? You know? <sighs> no, I can't let that happen. It's my duty to reclaim the teardrop. Lady Harkin, does she also use the fast draw? I wonder if Lady Harkin is that lady at the beginning and that the boy was him at the beginning.
Greetings, my friends. I must apologize. Somehow the wedding was called off, but we were still able to fake it all. I heard you guys were looking for a statue. This isn't a statue, but take it as a token of my appreciation. <laughs> it's not a statue, it's just a bunch of money. Tool wand. That's a weird way to get that. Magic wand is a very interesting item. If you hit an animal's head with it, you'll be able to understand what they're saying. I'm sure you'll find a use for it. We're ready to part at the docks. We can leave for Port Tim Timmy at any time now. Are you ready? Sure. Okay, let's go. Timmy! PS3 of Hollow Knight, Middle Earth, Shadows War, PS Plus games. Cool. I'm really looking forward to uh, being able to actually potentially play the PS5 before the Fiesta starts, potentially. We'll see what's out before everything starts. I might... Um, wait, this is the same... This is the same town, so I was not Timney. So yeah, they told me to go to Timney for the other statue. I'm in Timney. I never needed a boat. Weird. Why did he fake that orgasm wedding? I would have married him for real. Patiently for Haven. Oh yeah, that's the 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 one on the world that's really cute, and you play two player. When is that coming again? The eleventh or something? Oh yeah, that's right. This is the day after my birthday. All we were afraid of has just come become a reality. The Queen Mother, Lord of the Demons, has risen from her deep sleep. The seal no longer holds back the ripples of the darkness from spreading. This will be the last transmission of my thoughts. Warriors and innocent one, go to the source of the ripples of darkness. The final battleground is the snow-covered demon castle in the far northern plains. The voices, thinning, the waking of Mother is overcoming the Guardian's power. The northern edge of Phil Guy, did he say? The snowy plains? That's it, the demons are living in Antarctica. The vengeance is about to be fulfilled. We must look for a way north. Thief. We'll have to wait till the 10th to play it? Why? I can see. What a wonderful wasteland. My life. It's last whisper. The visions on our eyes, all the bloodshed, all the tragedies. Not a nightmare, but a beautiful reality. Because you have to wait until the next Wednesday. No? The teardrop was potent. How ironic that the life force of Filkaya gives life to its destroyer. Seeking all my children. Thank you for awakening me from the eternal stillness. Yeah, she doesn't. She can come out anytime she wants. You wanted to play it. Unless you wanted to play specifically your play. I guess that makes more sense. 
we the quarter knights have waited long for your awakening. You can relax now, my children. I am here. We shall bring humbleness to this place called Filgaia. Life will end and we will prosper. Destruction to all life. Beauty lies in complete destruction. <laughs> this is like textbook generic villain stuff. Is that when we get to rule the world? <laughs> rule? Order? What do those things have to do with me? Filgaia will end up just like the other worlds I've been to. The flame of life is the most beautiful at its scattering end. The end of a planet is the ultimate beauty supplied by the universe. You're saying we're not fighting to win a second home here on Fogaya? Then to win back our last home? Hiatus was only my last stop. You were only newborns at the time. I saw the magn magnificent fall of that planet with my own eyes. So what do we do after we destroy Filgaia? Do not worry, my child. I shall complete the beauty myself by devouring all that is left here. You will be burned in the eternal flames of your own mother's appetite. No other heaven exists in the universe. <laughs> that's actually interesting, actually. Uh, that, that's a, that's a inter that is an interesting dynamic. They were resurrecting this, this ultimate evil, and they thought they were evil as well, right? But they weren't evil or something. I mean, look, it's not super well written and told because they act like textbook villains. But then they're like, wait a second, we don't, we don't want to be that evil. Come on, have a little compassion. We only want to be sort of evil. But it's an interesting dynamic that the bad guys actually kind of goof. They kind of, they kind of meddled with forces that they didn't even understand. But why would mother have babies? Why would mother expend the energy and needed to have babies only to devour them? It would stand to reason to be better to just not burn that energy to have them at all, you know? Like, let, 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 like plant your seeds of, of despair and destruction out there and let them go out and do your bidding or whatever, but it seems silly to also kill them. Yeah, it's a neat concept, but not really well told. May not be such a good Taurus spot. Great Dragon Vortex. my game volume at a good volume yeah you know the, the one of the biggest gripes i have with some streams is that i can't hear the damn game you know and i try to make sure that it's audible for you guys and it's hard to balance because what i hear isn't always exactly accurate to what you guys hear but i try Yeah, me too. 100% me too. 
Can't stand it. What's up, Mozzie? Incredible luck out. Your mom messaged our family chat and asked if anyone knows what this is and if it's worth keeping. It's mine. I bought it for $8 on Blockbuster Video when we were clearing out the Virtual Boy stuff. She found it on an unused desk. Waterworld Virtual Boy. $300. $200 lose. Jeez. Wow. That's crazy. Nice find, dude. New record? Yeah, what? How much of a return is that on investment? Well, how am I supposed to get out of here? I need the crystal tear, which I don't have. like a 230% uh, return on an, or 2,030, 2,300 or so-ish return on investment. Assuming you sell it. I don't know if you will or not, but yeah. Yoshi's over here like, I already found a buyer. <laughs> to play water world on virtual boy yeah that is a console i have never played never seen physically well i think i've seen it behind glass or something uh but never played anything on and and never have any interest in playing it at all that's where i came from so i don't really think that's where i need to go i feel like there's something else i need to do <clears throat> Missed out on bleeding eyeballs? Oh man, I need to get myself a virtual boy. See if we go back to town, maybe we could take the boat somewhere or something. This is my first playthrough. This is probably my third playthrough, but my last time playing it was about 15 or, or so years ago. So I don't really remember anything about it other than the general aesthetic and kind of sort of how combat goes. I don't remember it being as good as this is, though. To be honest, I remember it being a pretty generic, basic, simple RPG. But I think that was mostly because that was the way the story is. It's very generic and basic with a couple neat concepts that are, that are that have just unveiled which are kind of neat but generally speaking the combat and 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 designer are much better than I recall. But played Alter Code F. No, I've only played this one ever in ter terms of the Wild Arm games. I have Wild Arms 2, 3, 4 and uh, my fiance has 5. So uh I have all of them to play but
And I don't I don't know about Alter Code F. It's it's a two hundred dollar game. And oh, I only play on original hardware. Oh, you have you have Alter Code F? Well, shit. <laughs> it's like, okay. Alrighty then. No need to worry about a two hundred dollar game if I want to play it. If I want to play it or not, she just has it. So the boat's not here either. Saves you money. <laughs> Best to play it after three. I'll probably play it in order, like one, two, three, four, five, and then Ultra Code F. But I'll probably leave Ultra Code F votable freely after I play the first couple. Yeah, I know what Ultra Code F is. I just never really cared about it. I, I Wild Arms is a franchise I never really paid much attention to after Wild Arms 1. I had Wild Arms 2 and I never played it for a long time, so it's just whatever. Yeah, I mean, I guess I'm kind of lucky in that regard that my fiance happens to have a lot of really rare and expensive games. She even has a Sega uh, CD and a 32... No, I don't think you have a 32X, but she does have a Sega CD. And PS Vita. A lot of things I didn't have. Now they're all mine! <laughs> Maybe I gotta talk to the birdies or something. When they're seagulls... Neo Geos are very cheap nowadays, actually, so I think it's like 80 bucks or something. Yeah, XF is the Wild Arms on PSP that was really weird. I remember, like, turning it on for a minute and being like, what is this? And then I stopped. I don't have it. I don't know where I, how I got to play it, though. But yeah, we, we play on original hardware here, so I am playing on disc uh, on a PS2 Slim on hardware. That's what we do here. We always play on hardware. That's kind of our shtick over here. There's two things that you can expect in this channel. Playing on original hardware and Final Fantasy Fiesta every year. Those are the, the two major like themes of this of this channel. We 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 very much care about high fidelity uh visual and audio capture on original hardware. And every year we do a big event called the Final Fantasy Fiesta where we play through the entire main numbered franchise. Minus the MMOs with tons of challenges, difficulties incentives bonus games whatever it you, you if you can think about it we've probably done it or will do it oh yeah that's right that's the strategy rpg one the tactics one right it's pretty awful that's what i've heard too <laughs> although i'm hearing better things about alter code f People are actually saying it's not that bad, so maybe I'll put it on the list now that I know I have access to it. Although until we're living under the same roof, I won't put any of her games on my list. Just so you guys know. And until I until I feel secure and in, in well not, it's not like it's I'm insecure about it. I just don't think it's appropriate, I guess is the more accurate thing, to just assume that I have access to these games just because we're dating, you know? So in, until until we're living under the same roof and, and everything's been confirmed i will uh, add her games to the list because i think that's i think that's rude i think it's i don't know i just felt wrong about it i mean i'm the one that proposed to her right like obviously i want to marry her <laughs> It's true, I did. I told her she can have access to any one of my games if, for, for whatever purpose, streaming or otherwise. But that's just kind of how I am. I'm very like, I'm okay with it, but it's not my job to say whether or not she's okay with it. You know, that's her, that's her right, that's her.
Here's an example of the fun that happens in the Final Fantasy Fiesta. All right, let's do it. Let's watch this clippy clip. Where are you? I need to organize my scenes and sources. Something from the Final Fantasy Fiesta of yesteryears. Looks like Final Fantasy 13 2? Is Arabic near Vanilla? Oh, just third, Final Fantasy 13. From Grand Pulse. And to everyone on Cocoon, evil. Shoot me! Be your son! Don't you even! You think you die? And that's that? You think you die and everything will be shook and rainbow? Okay. Yeah, here I am choking. <laughs> okay. That was a pretty good one. <laughs> like choking. Oh dear. Sunshine and rainbows and a horse wiener. You bastard. I don't understand what this game wants me to do. Hmm. I, I, I still have a Femoral Fantasia, you know? <coughs> Copyright music in them? Like what? Maybe I gotta go back through this one. I know there's a hook shot, so I gotta, you know, I should write this down. Timmy, the name of the town. Oh, I looked into that and I'm, I'm not, I actually couldn't figure out who owns the right to that song at all and I don't think it's like a record label I think it's just like HBO or something I don't even think it's HBO I think it's just some random dude the the, the sandstorm one though definitely yes I'm also pretty sure the Mentos one is fine as well. I looked I looked into both of those. But I mean if you guys look into it and find differently, please let me know because I couldn't really I couldn't really find a lot of information on either of them if I want to be perfectly honest. But like it did it did like suggest that they weren't really owned by Universal or Sony or anything from what I gathered, but I'm not positive on that. So yeah, if you find differently, then definitely delete them, but otherwise they're fine. 
I don't really know where to look for that kind of thing. I just kind of did some searching and that's what I came up with, but yeah. <laughs> All of uh, all top four of my clips are from you. He just deleted everything. Man, I can't do it. I can't bring myself to do it. I just can't. Would it be the safest thing to do? Yeah, but I also don't play copyrighted music. Like I had a couple issues with copyrighted music before with some things that I mistakenly played, but I'm pretty sure those have all been removed. I also haven't gotten any strikes against me, against me, so it's like I still have the whole three strikes, you know? Uh, do the command Mentos if you want to see what, what I did. Yeah, but there could be other things. There could be other things, and they don't, they don't, maybe they don't get everything, you know what I mean? Alright, I need to go back to the town, I think. I, I don't know what the heck I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, I had about, uh, 5,500 clips myself. And I've already deleted about 2,000 of them. But I'm having some issues. My, my, my clip searching is bugged. The only thing that I can look at is anything seven months older, older than seven months, or newer than four years. It won't let me look at anything else. So I can't really go through it right now. So I've just been deleting broadcasts instead. But yeah, I mean trying to also save everything, so I need to download all my broadcasts first, which takes like half an hour per stream to download, because Twitch's shit is freaking stupid. It's like preparing, it does this preparing to download for literally 20 minutes before it starts the download. Yeah, Bowser, that was random timing, like straight up, just on the fly, random timing, did not prepare that at all, I just kind of did it, and then we got that, which was fantastic. What am I using to download them? Twitch? What else would I use? Besides, I mean, I can't just download a billion at a time. My hard drive would get full. I have to, I have to download them, move, then move them onto the external drive, and that takes time as well. I also have to rename them and, and curate them, you know. So it's not just, it's not just something I could just get a mass downloader and go to sleep and it's all done. When I wake up, it would, it would cap out after like ten downloads. I have a 10 terabyte drive. It's about 10% full so far. I can easily download every single one of my streams, but there's a lot of them that I'm just gonna delete straight up. Any, any stream 
where I started doing the YouTube and I was doing the 30 minute increment stuff. That's all being, I'm, I'm going to delete it all. I'm going to try and download them first, but if it gets to be too much of a hassle because there's like 140 episodes of Persona 4, I'm just, I'm just I don't care enough about every stream to just download and curate every single one of those. I'll probably just can them. It's for the better anyway, I think. So a lot of that will go away forever. But it's still on the YouTube, so I don't feel too bad about it. Here's some DMCA free music. Thank you, Halard, for the $26 donation. Thank you very much. And that is definitely some DMCA free music because I know the person that made it and it's literally my voice. There's a song taken from one of my clips and uh, turned into a song. So, uh, literally nobody owns that other than me, technically. Well, it's, it's not really... I've never given permission to use my voice to monetize it. So it's fan art, essentially. But I mean, he would have to ask me if he wanted to monetize it by using my likeness. So yeah. That's completely DMCA free. Oh, the duplicator. That's right. Maybe I gotta use the duplicator. Let's go try that. I thought I had to use the teardrop because the teardrop icon was on the door. So that's what I thought I needed to do. Ah, oh, I love that one, Quadrenic. Progress! Always make, always look forward and make steady poggers. Making steady poggers. Wild Arms 2 was on PlayStation. Wild Arms 3, hold on, I think was the first PS2 one. Yeah. Oh, I gotta use both of them here. Interesting. Huh. Awkward and interesting, but whatever. They're kind of like optional key items that are required, you know what I mean? Like, it's weird. You don't get them in the story, you just have to find their secrets. East of Malamo Village, someone is harassing travelers of the Sand River. What? I, mean, I guess some of those words made sense. Just not together. Did you get the magic map from the mountain pass? Yes. Yeah, did you notice the panel for noticing? The panel's for noticing. Thank you for noticing it. What am I most excited for this Final Fantasy Fiesta? Ask me again when everything's been unveiled. But honestly, so far I would say actually Final Fantasy 1. Just, I mean, you, you saw the incentives, right? I'm really anxious to see what I can do with that game. Like, I'm really, really, really anxious to start playing Final Fantasy 1 and see how I handle that incentive. Oh, the first Final Fantasy incentive was unveiled uh, on the Twitter and the Discord, and in our Discord, actually. Wait, is this the beginning of the game again? I 
would be a complete waste of keys for a shortcut. Yeah, I would uh I would can it. Mog if you can if you if you find it. I urge all of you, by the way, to go through your clips of this channel and delete anything that may be DMCA. Uh, basically, if it's a music track that's owned by a studio, delete it. If it's game music, link it to me and, you know, I'll let you know. If it's, a, uh... Yeah. But I can't really search through my clips right now, and it's kind of worrying. <laughs> A little bit, just because I'd like to trash a lot of the bloat that I have that could be a problem. I could, there's easy, easily another 2,000 clips that I can just delete. Wait, why am, why am I at the beginning of the game again? Yes, fornicate the R I A A. Absolutely. Who's here for the speed dating? Ooh, me, 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 me. First question pancake or waffles? Well, I'm dumping Mozzie. You skip breakfast. Okay. Date's over. <laughs> Listen, waffles are like pancakes, except they have butter and syrup pockets. It, it, the, the, the taste is relatively the same. Texture is better too. It's less filling with waffles. We are not using the Final Fantasy website, fffiesta.com, this year. Also, fiesta.com is not it. It'd be fffiesta.com. But we're not using the website this year. Uh, we are going to rebuild it for uh, some some later releases. By the way, Halard, did I thank you for the $26? I don't. I feel like I forgot. I was just like going off about the music. Halard, thank you very much for the $26 donation. It's very generous, and I feel like a doofy for, for getting to. Thank you. Thank you. I did, okay. Meshwio. They said cave to the west. There's a monkey living in there, but there's no west. Uh, Twitter or Discord will have everything. F by the way, guys, did you know that we have a Final Fantasy Fiesta Discord? That's right. We have a Final Fantasy Fiesta Discord. In fact, let me, uh, let me get you the link. So both in my, my Discord, Seven Sins Discord, Twitter, and the Fiesta Discord, we announced the first incentive. But I would follow the Twitter because information is going to be posted there first before anything else. Uh, FFF. Should, there's the Twitter right there, yeah. There's the, the FF Fiesta Twitter of the FFF command. And let me make a command for this as well.
All right, FFF Discord should be a command now. Bloody Da, thank you for the mega tier two, 49 million years. Holy crap, that's a long time, thank you. Hey, a human that speaks my tongue? Come with me, I'll show you the way. This cave is a river of sand. The trick is to not fight the flow, but don't get lost. Okay, well, let's see what's down here first. No, 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 it's on the tweet. You just gotta scroll through the Twitter feed for the, uh, up until, until for November 1st. It's definitely there. The first incentive is on Twitter, 100%. It's only a few tweets ago. Should be, anyway. Oh, she's an old lady now, apparently. Oh, it's the floppy wieners. Uh, let's see if I can find it for you. Your power beat me to it. Just when I was about to blink it. That was an alarming sound. Ah, it's no, it's totally okay. Not a problem. Although, I'm pretty sure you're in the Discord and that's a little bit easier to use, so that's why we're going to be putting all the, inf the big information there as well. So, you can definitely find it in Discord as well. There is an interesting channel in the Final Fantasy D uh, Fiesta Discord, by the way. It's similar to my backseat channel. It is called the Race Channel, and in the Race Channel, Seven and I are not allowed to go in there. And it's a, basically it's a channel designed for you guys to talk about the incentives specifically, and the strategies that you think we should or should not use, or how we're handling it as we go through. Ooh, max HP 25%. I won't use it yet, but I might eventually. That's a good item. Oh, no! Oh, I just gave her a power apple. No, at least it could have been Honk, but I gave it to her instead. Why is she in the second slot anyway? I don't like her being in the second slot. It's bugging me. Keep in mind, no item. Command means no items in general. We, we specifically wanted to, to differentiate item command because the, the main point of the incentive is to not be able to use things like the Thor Gauntlet or the Healing Staff to carry us through the game when we can't use the fight command. Yeah, oops, cat tripped over power button. Guess I'll have to redo all of this again. Oh, no worries. It's one power apple. I'm not worried about it. Oh, well, she almost has as much vitality as Thief now. After giving her literally every single hearty apple I've come across. Oh dear. That's that's fast. <laughs> that is quite fast. Yes, they will. Every, all incentives will open up and all naming uh, opportunities will open up on November 30th as soon as the stream starts on our day zero, as always. So that will be the same as it was been every year. And it is gonna be a first come first serve, obviously. 
and a lot of things are gonna come in at once and I will do my best to, you know, be fair. But like if two come in at the same time, I have to take the first one and then I have to ask you to make a new one. And it's, it's, always, <laughs> it's always very hectic, but what is the theme? Actually, the tweet uh, specifically says the theme as well. Not every game the theme can apply to, but we typically try to fit that theme whenever we can. But it's a little bit of a hint of what might be coming up. Thirty-five K feet in the air. Whoo! Do uh at that time, one PM PST. Hey, no worries, Darian. There's a lot of information coming out. That's why we're kind of doing a slow crawl with the release of it, you know, not just dropping everything at once. Part of it, anyway. West coast, the east coast. Whew, won't well, be safe, man. But, uh... Hopefully, not too much. Uh, getting in the way, you know? Well, there is that unlimited power clip. <laughs> in about 100 planes this year? Dang, I am so sorry. I hope everything works out for you. I think it's power. Yeah. If you want to know what uh, what I'm referring to with unlimited power, or what everybody else is saying when they're referring to unlimited powder, here's another clip from one of the Fiestas. I learned what math does. <laughs> I basically, I learned how to exploit math. <laughs> Face my wrath. Yep. I pretty much just ex learned how to exploit math and Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh oh. Bye, chat. That's Ramza was named chat. <laughs> 700! Oh shit! Oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh, it's game over! <laughs> I don't have a res! I don't have a res! Oh! F. <laughs> I have Rams and dead. Only Rams that can hit the switch. I may have unlimited powder power, but I definitely abuse that unlimited power, and it costs me. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you all, by the way. It's honestly, it's an excellent lesson in that clip. Yeah, so basically I did ze instantaneous, so no charge time, full spell damage with no MP to almost the entire board. Math is absolutely busted like like orlando is strong time mages are pretty cool quick is a neat spell De demi 2 is pretty nice math is completely freaking nuts like it's it's the absolute way to break the game additionally if you have a knight or anybody with the Excalibur equipped and you're using holy with your math, you will absorb the holy at least on one person and you can clear, clear out almost any map in the entire game with one action and you won't die. It's completely busted.
Uh, GBA? You mean Tactics Advance? Yeah, I, I play Tactics Advance 1 and 2. They're not the same game. They're totally different. They're not even close to FFT, but uh, they're neat little tactics games that are okay. I, I'm not overly fond of them. But I also haven't beaten either of them either. I always get like super caught up in all the different side missions that I can do and never finish it, you know? I believe they're both on the viewer choice list because I never have played, I never finished them. So I put them on the list instead. Yeah, that's the problem that I have with the game is the judge system is really, I don't like it. I think it's a very bad mechanic. I think it's objectively a bad mechanic personally, but uh, whatever. <laughs> play them eventually not necessarily in the fiesta i'm just i just mean that eventually i'll play them because they are on the viewer choice list so rageson likes to vote for him because he knows i'm not fond of him and uh, you know what rageson likes to do rageson stuff Uh, exclamation mark VC viewer choice casual and a couple others are uh, all stanga <laughs> I have like four or five commands for it because it's changed names frequently and <laughs> just leave the command up yeah variety that's another one thank you via uh, Sammy orange Sammy <laughs> yeah, it's not stain or stain rod, stain ga. <laughs> I like the echoey footsteps as you go up the, the door in the cave. That's a nice touch. It's a good sound. It, it feels solid. It feels like a good sound. Man, this place is full of apples. I think I chose right in uh, picking Jack as the apple, power apple dude. Powerade, the thirst mutilator. How do I like them apples? They're pretty good. <sighs> Hover remnant wings 100%? Not possible, seven, eight is cart. Yeah, exactly, so. I'm pretty sure he's pooped that out already. I like how the foot is like some giant like slab. <laughs> Gonna make poor Rudy useless? No, his weapons have like scaling. It's, or, no, they don't really scale. From what I can gather, his weapons don't really scale all that much with his attack power. Like only a little bit, you know? Da -da 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 -da. Wait, what was that? I swear I saw it zoom in again. <laughs> or one bit. E equivalent, you know, essentially the same thing, yeah. And if you want to vote automatically, you see, like, the hashtag ID on the left. Like, uh, what's an example? If you wanted to vote for Dark Cloud 2, you could just put in hashtag 191 in your message. 
and it doesn't matter if as long as it's within that message it'll automatically update and sort the list all auto magically I have some custom software made by Rageson running in the background to handle that I used to do it all by hand for years I would do it all by hand and uh, Rageson was like you know I could automate this and I was like what? And he made some very, very stable software that has almost never stopped working. Yep, all by hand. I would, I would, I would go into the, the the program's coding and stimulate it in order to adjust the values. You can't blame those who run away, but sometimes it's important to stick it out. <laughs> Rage of Sin has done a hell of a lot of things for the channel, actually. Bards, thank you for the 17 months of Twitch Prime. Speak, I mean, there's a couple people that have done a, a, a few fantastic things for for the channel to help it along and help automate some of the things, that stuff. This is a town of Yard. Everyone calls a terrible name, the Ship Graveyard. Well, so it's a shipyard that's dead, so a ship graveyard. Back, come again. Oh, look, it's a kitty cat. The little buckets have stuff in them, too. I haven't been searching the buckets. Serenade. Well, shoot. I gotta be searching those buckets. <laughs> All you do is send me bad games. Hey, you sent me Yakuza 6? That was insanely good. And those glasses are still here to be used. And those are freaking awesome. You've been listening while mobile and working in your house long story, but anyway, I heard you say earlier your fiance, so I take it you proposed recently, so congrats. Yes, I did. That's exactly what happened. Yep, uh, a couple weeks back. Sure did. And thank you. If tradition holds, the call is for getting in viewer choice votes into the system will end during the FFF. You can still vote if you put the tag. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, if you are planning on supporting the Fiesta, uh, keep in mind that I will not, like, remind people to auto-magically auto vote in the system. You can still absolutely vote during the Fiesta, but we will be stopping the viewer choice plays during that time, because it's Fiesta time, all Fiesta stuff. Uh, but you can absolutely still vote. I just won't, like, bring it up a lot, you know? I might bring it up once or twice, just, like, mostly at the start of the Fiesta but not uh, not constantly. So just keep that in mind. If you want to get used to the auto-voting system, you can continue to do that during the Fiesta. You're going to steal my fiance? I mean, that's up to her, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, there's usually, I mean, the, the, you guys are insanely generous and kind and, and, and caring and, and awesome during the Fiesta. So there's definitely going to be some weighted votes during the Fiesta, but, I mean, I don't do viewer choice games during the Fiesta. The Fiesta is Fiesta time. Okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, jeez. Thank you. Gosh, dang it. <laughs> God, 
I love the message. Uh, wow. Holy crap, dude. Thank you very much for the $101.01 donation. And he says, gotta practice my palindromes for the vote for Final Fantasy Tactics Advance. Holy shit. Dude, <laughs> thank you very much, man. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> Out of nowhere. Holy crap, dude. Thank you very much. And yes, Team Palindrome all day long. Thank you very much for the support. Jeez. Wow. Whew. We're gonna register. Yeah, we're gonna register our, our like a wedding registry or whatever. We're gonna register on a on a on a game website. Totally, like a retro game store. Totally. The guardian blade is in the sand. You can't find it. The guardian blade, the mightiest of all weapons. There are several legends around these parts regarding the blade. I want to write that down. What's the name of this town again? It was like poop or dung or heart, uh, butt, palate, smell. No, it's not ship graveyard. It is an actual name to it that they, they actually call it. Uh, <laughs> ship graveyard. Where's that? There he is. Yard. Teleport doesn't care what we call the town when we're goofing off. So yeah, I like to know. Your boyfriend will be proposing soon. He ordered a ring and it should be here sometime this month. So you like talk about it before doing it. That's interesting. I've never considered like just Hey, wanna do that? Cool, let's go get rings, you know? It's always just kind of feels like something one or the other should do or bring up, like, as a surprise. I don't know. Although I will say, definitely not public engagement requests, you know what I mean? Like, at, at, a, at a ball game and then getting into the field and proposing, no way. Absolutely not. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> The Pleasing Garden, oh. Nothing before two years, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, talking about it, you know, I guess it's normal, but it's like planning it feels, feels interesting and new and different, you know? Oh, yeah, I mean, if you want to do a public engagement, like that's your, that's your jam. Like, do it. I was just saying, for me, I would never do that to someone. Unless, of course, they specifically stated that they would want that kind of thing. I want to give my wife a proper burial. Okay, we got to go to the pleasing garden, I guess. You know, it's possible that the, the the arms only scale with the weapon equipped and not with her his actual attack power. But something I never really considered. There's a lot of inventory space, okay. But I guess everybody does it differently, right? You know, there's no right or wrong way to do it unless you're going against the wishes of your significant other, you know, right? I guess. End of 
<laughs> what did you say? A horse wiener? Now, that's, that's That's the way to do it. Thank you, <laughs> Water, for the eleven dollar eleven cent donation. More love for Dark Cloud too. Thank you very much. Retrace the path that you have already traveled. I've also heard that at the second cross section, you must walk straight through and go left on the way back. Oh, boy. All right. Second cross section, walk straight through and go left on your on the way back. All right. Yeah, I, I, you know what's funny is she's always like, oh, I have small hands, I have small hands, I have small hands. So I looked up what the average ring size was and I tried to, I tried to goad the information out of her all clever like and she's like uh uh so i took the average size and i went down half a half a size and it was still way too big <laughs> and then mine's mine's like a, a size and a half over the average size so i always thought i had small hands as well i thought i had really slender fingers but apparently i got big old meaty mitts apparently Did you see the clip of the chick dressed, showed up in a dress at work with the priest and demanded her boyfriend marry her right there? Wait, what? Huh? No, I didn't see anything like that. Demanded. Oh, oh, what was this? Oh, it's hidden. I linked that to me in a PM. I think the way I, I, I phrased it is like we were we were talking about like stuff that was related and uh, I think we were, we were talking about something in the past and it was related to that and I was like do you even know your ring size and she was like nope don't even know it and I was like oh cool and then I just kind of left it you know like oh that's that's it that's all I was asking just a passive sly question didn't treat it important. I can't look at it right now. Here, I'm gonna link it to you, RPG Chick, so that I have it later. Cause I can't, I don't wanna leave it on a tab. Thank you, Blurry Bot, for the $5 donation, dude. Thank you very much for the support. If you had a vote, let me know, man. I'll get you down. Uh. <laughs> it's easier to make it smaller than bigger. Yeah, but the thing is, is when you have in, uh, jewels attached, they're not going to attach the same way. They might, like, be awkward or you still have to bend it. It's a smaller loop and stuff, so it's not the same. It, it, it takes some time to resize. If it's, like, half a size, half a size you can just scrunch it down no big deal but um yeah it was a size and a half that needed to be adjusted <laughs> oh everybody else wanted to see okay okay Fell asleep in tears. An hour and a half later, woke up to a scratch and she was back and I grabbed her up and hugged her. Aww. Aww. Okay, well, I can't do anything here. Maybe there's a bunch of hidden spots where I can go to the Sky Garden.
I did notice my camera was moving inward uh, when I was going through here the first time, so. No, there's no other. All right, so there's only the one Sky Garden. Oh, there we go. Battling chords again. Honestly, if anybody like demanded that marriage should happen right now, I'd just be like, no. <laughs> Crixie, thank you for the five dollar donation as well for Wild Arms too. Thank you very much. Oh, Blurry Bob, if you did have a vote, just tag me in chat so I can make sure I see it. I might miss it otherwise. What do you guys feel about women proposing, though? I'm totally about it. I would I would have been totally fine if I was proposed to. I think it's awesome that uh, women are feeling empowered enough and, and willing to step outside of the silly traditions and stuff, you know? Norm breaking is cool? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Marry you right now? Uh, ask RPG chick. If it's okay. Dude, this this is Sonic. We're in we're in Green Hill Zone. Wait, 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 wait. We're in a floating Green Hill Zone, y'all. This is Sonic the Hedgehog. No, we're, we're in Green Hill Zone. Hold on, let's get into a battle again. Look at it. It's Green Hill Zone. When the camera goes out and above, you'll see the green. See the green? We're, <laughs> we're in Green Hill Zone, y'all. We just teleported to Sonic the Hedgehog. Thank you, Sun Top. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have done it if I wasn't prepared to uh, make every concession that I can to make that a reality. Does that make Rooney Sonic? He does have blue hair. He does have blue hair. Sonic Chronicles: The Dark Brotherhood. Better watch out, Shadow. Might have a gun. <laughs> <laughs> we were, you were gonna offer being a living chef, but we cook. Yeah. Oh, I said if you had a vote for viewer choice, let me know. Do exclamation mark VC, and you can put that donation to a vote. Uh, just keeping in, 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 just so you know, votes do reset after each game gets voted in at credit start uh, but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't vote exactly for what for what you want to just just as a heads up as a as a sort of you know disclaimer yeah it's a GBA game if I'm not mistaken I've heard it's actually not that bad but yeah if you want to vote for something vote for the next game you want anything not highlighted in red is up for vote the red ones are completed previously if you don't care about the next viewer choice because this is viewer choice right now this is a viewer voted game people with their support to the channel voted this game to be played 
So like that's what that's what determines us playing this game right now is viewer votes. If you don't care, that's all right too. Don't worry about it. Uh, Cecilia is her name, Te uh, or, or her normal name. Oh, Amy. I get it. Casonic. Never mind. <laughs> I'm supposed to do it says go into the sky garden but it said the spell illusions retrace your path you already traveled maybe I gotta go around a circle figured it out. Well, that's a giant cock. Chicken, a rooster. Did you not see it? It's a giant rooster. Exactly. Recover 2,000. Interesting. Oh, my HP is are really, really spiking up, so those berries that heal 1,000 are definitely going to be valuable. I'm going to need to start buying them if I can. I need to keep 99 berries though as like my out of combat healing. Gross. I wouldn't want needles anywhere near there, man. That's no. No. <laughs> Please no. So it's like across the road. Walk straight through and go left. Maybe this is what the first cross section means. Left on the way back. Oh, I know what it means. I just gotta exit the room on the left. I'm really glad I gave, gave Jack all my power apples, because that counterattack is legit. And he just basically has attack skills only.
Maybe that's not what it meant. Maybe it got sent back to the beginning or something. So I'm back here again. You know, at least it's not Legend of Dragoon where the enemies were sardines. named sardines. You want Wild Arms too? All right, I will put the other $5 that you donated earlier on Wild Arms too. I can still manually adjust it, so don't worry about that. Everything will always be counted as long as we know what we're doing. And, uh... There, I have it written down, so once I get out of stream and everything, I'll manually update that for you. Thank you, also, for the 100 bits. What was I saying? I was saying something. <laughs> what did I say? Yeah, Legend of Dragoon. The chicken was named Assassin Cock. <laughs> I know there's a clip of that one. I know there's a name, uh, there's a clip of that name. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it survived. Any I haven't I haven't personally deleted any clip with more than ten views right now. Because I was just trying to delete all the like the low view clips that like had one to five views because they were just, nobody's gonna watch those. Okay. But it might not, well that one will survive forever. We have a chance of snow? Oh yeah. I can make jokes there, but I'm going to abstain from making a joke where she critically striked the chicken. I think it's technically critically striked because if you were just saying struck, it would wouldn't it would be like strike struck, right? But because critical strike is like a an actual phrase, you know that you you would be faithful to the to the phrasing. I think I'm pretty sure that's technically true, but it definitely sounds awkward, doesn't it? <laughs> It's like proper noun, right? It's like the proper noun thing. I'm actually certified to teach English as a second language, so I have a lot of uh, ed education. 
as a as as a English speaker and you know, all the grammar and all that good stuff. Even though it doesn't always feel like it, I, I do have that. <laughs> What is it, the Bedford Dictionary or whatever? I've read that almost cover to cover. It, ugh. Grammar. It's really important. Grammar is the difference between helping your Uncle Jack off a horse and helping your Uncle Jack off a horse. Or let's eat grandma and let's eat grandma. Y'all think periods and commas and spacing isn't important. But the, you know what's funny is the thing that bothers me most isn't like the lack of periods and having like these run-on sentences where you don't know where the where the, the idea stops and the new idea begins. It's when people say you instead of Y O U. Or or like, you know, R instead of A-R-E. It, it like literally takes like a tenth of a second to spell out the damn word when you're typing. Like just just spell it the damn. Spell it out. Spell it. Oh yeah, exactly. I just it it. Oh, oh god, VG. I'm gonna I'm gonna ban you. It's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, looks like we get the hook shot here. Oh, there's the clip. Nice. I'm using my old Final Fantasy 2 layout. Man, this is an old clip. Old, old clip. Done! I'm done! That was loud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way. <laughs> all right, all right, four years ago, BGG, relax. I like how this clip is just me dying. <laughs> to, to the most immature oh joke God. ever. It's just, that's the entire clip. It's not even anything else. It's just me being a 12 year old and what is this? <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> that's the entire clip. That's it. Nothing else. Hey, Glass John, thank you for the, the two years. Thank you. Did you know that Legend of Dragoon was the very first viewer choice game? Way back when, four years ago, when I first started viewer choice, I chose the first game. That was the only one that I chose. And I said, hey, let's start with Legend of Dragoon. This will be fun. And that was my first viewer choice game. Yep, that's uh, when I had a, 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 a blue, not a Yeti, Snowball. So before I had a blue snowball, I literally had like a, a $10 Walmart mic. No joke. It was like a Walmart headset. It was awful. That's when, that's how I started my stream. And it wasn't until about probably... Uh, two years after streaming. No, sorry. That's wrong. It was about five months into streaming because it was right before I got partnered. I, I got partnered about six months. That's about that's about how fast I got partnered. And uh, a, a, a viewer donated a, their, a, a blue snowball to the stream. And shortly after, I got a big raid. And that put my channel from like 80 to like 120 average viewership overnight. And like, I had just improved my audio quality a big, 
big ton amount. So I, I feel like that was kind of part of it, everything coming together for me. But uh, a yellow snowball gross. But yeah, that that was no, there's no audio equipment to like help manage, you know, loud noises or anything like that. It was no noise gate, no, no peak limiters, no nothing. And now we got some nice equipment that helps make everything nice and rich and toasty. But, uh, yeah, those old clips, man. <laughs> yeah, way back then, I decided when I started Viewer Choice, I'll, I'll pick the first game. Chose Legend of Dargoon. Okay, we got a duplicator. Does this take me to another place where I can get more treasures? Because... Right now, I don't feel very confident in being able to advance in this dungeon. But it wasn't, I think I've had this particular audio set up for about two years now. I, I want to say it was like right before the start of the Fiesta two years ago. I remember like making the investment right before the Fiesta. I was like, I want to improve the quality of my stream. So we took a big, uh, big investment in microphone and compressor mixer and all that good stuff. I feel like I should upgrade my microphone though. The AT2040 has been fantastic for a long time, but I think I think there's a better microphone I could get now. If I chose it, it is not viewer choice. Wow, okay, I mean, you're not wrong, but... But I mean, you're kind of wrong. You're just not wrong. But you're wrong. But you're not wrong. Oh, this is back all the way here. Damn it, I chose, I have chosen poorly. Wrong, but rude. I mean, not really. It's not being rude. <laughs> I mean, we literally learned that last night, right, Mozzie? played Little Hope, which is one of those dark picture anthology games where choices are, are all about, that's what the game is about, it's about making choices. And not making a choice is also a choice. Why do they leave the keys up on the table?
You know me, I love a good teleport maze. I want to get a plaque for my home that says, in this house, <clears throat> we put pineapple on our pizza. Sorry. In this house, we put pineapple on our Chicago-style pizza. Unrelated. RPG chick is from New York. John Stewart rant. What does he rant about pineapple on pizza? The fact that Gordon Ramsay questions pineapple on pizza makes me question his, like, his credentials as a no. chef. No, 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 no. <laughs> Thank you, RPG Chick, for the $6 donation. What was wrong with pineapple on pizza? Why do I listen to Gordon Ramsay? I don't. But there was a there is a <clears throat> There is like a little video of him. He was doing some special. I think it was on a talk show. And he like calls everybody idiots for wanting pineapple on their pizza. And it's like the most closed-minded thing regarding food I've ever heard, especially from some some world-renowned chef, you know? Like, he's not even from the U.S. He's no, he's no pizza expert. But adding different flavors to different things is all about what cooking is about. And he's like, pineapple on pizza is ridiculous. Even though it's, like, really common and most people love it. Yeah, Hawaii, Hawaiian style pizza is like one of the most common t types of pizza. It's ham and pineapple and cheese and sauce. Marinara sauce. 
I'm a big fan of food. I like a di lot of different flavors, so personally, pineapple is a flavor I like. And adding sweet to salty is absolutely a, a valid choice. You ever had bacon chocolate before? Bacon chocolate is super good. I gotta use the restroom. Enjoy this battle track jam. I expect chat to be flooded with dance emotes. Or, you know, don't. I'm not your real dad. Well done, chat. Well done. And I'm having a great night, so you know what? I decided to grab a beer. We used to do beer o'clock around this time every day on Viewer Choice, so bring it back in old tradition a little bit. Cheers. Yeah. Well, we were playing things like Ephemeral Fantasia. Beer O'Clock was kind of a requirement to get through that game. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Thank <laughs> you. 
good kitty. My cats are not allowed in my room today because Coconut was being a very, very, very bad kitty and just would keep finding new things to get into. Like, I don't really have to worry about him getting behind my computer or chewing on cords or anything because he usually finds some kind of plastic or something or else to mess with, but I've kitty-proofed everything around me enough to where he can't find anything, so he's he's trying to search new places for things to chew on, and I just gotta be, I gotta helicopter him for, for now. Cats don't really re react very well to time travel. It's been my experience anyway. It's definitely a butthead. A cat of mine. One of the cats of mine. Gotta be a button for these somewhere. My boys are very, <clears throat> very chill cats. Like they don't hiss or, or, or attack or anything. They are just loafs of love and affection. But Ren is a little territorial and very sprightly, I guess you could say. She's still a love bug, but she's definitely more aggressive. But my cats are also gigantic, and Renna is a twig. She is so skinny. She's she's the tiniest little cat. So if Renna gets up in their face, like my boys will just swat them. Like, <laughs> like I don't like you, crush. You know? <laughs> so, like, I imagine my boy is just kind of being like, oh, cool, new cat, what's up? Let me smell, smell your butt. And then Rena's like, yo, excuse you? And then Rena tries to get up in their face, and, and then they just don't really care, so they just, like, raise their paw and just, like, kaboom, and then there's a crater where Rena used to be, you know? just gonna lead me back. Unless there's something magically behind me now. There's a lot of illusions, right? Supposedly. They will. They will absolutely say whatever, but they're going to come into contact with one another. Yeah, that's that's kind of the that's kind of like the best uh, case scenario. Is they not only get along, but they they start playing with each other, so they're they have someone to play with, you know. <clears throat> but we'll see.
Yeah, how old is she? Like 12 or 13 or something? And she's just, she's a little freaking speed gremlin. That looks vaguely lewd. Oh, that's, that's the poop zooms. They think they got something stuck in their butt. That's what I call the poop zooms. Poop zoom, 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 poop. Poop zoom, poop zoom. Yeah, she's a pug, isn't she? She does the scoot. That's what pugs do. Pugs do the scoots. And then they just smear it all over the carpet. Oh, Boston Terrier, okay. Pugs definitely do the scoots, though. I had a friend with a pug. Shoot all, just do the scoots. Coconuts get a little chunky, and I'm trying to get him to lose some weight so that doesn't happen. Because he already struggles as it is. And plus, they're long fur cats, so it makes it even harder. And they're big, they're big cats, they're big boys. sure I'm just gonna live in this dungeon from now on. This is my new home. This is my new home. My address is uh, 555 Sky Fortress Lane. <sighs> yeah. Oh, that does not happen. <clears throat> I mean, I guess face sometimes, yes. But not much more than that. We live here now. This is my this is my home forever. We live here. Welcome to my abode. We're gonna be on MTV's cribs now. I'm gonna show you my crib. We got uh, the thing over here, and there's a uh, the stuff over there. All the things over there. I mean, uh, do we just gotta... <laughs> Over here we have our Sky Lounge. Right next to our Sky Bar. You know, I did get a duplicator key, which I don't know if it's like a an optional thing for Treasury somewhere else or if I need to use it here or what. Yum, 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 yum,
I'm sure it's like something about the, uh, I'm sure it's something about the hint that I received, like, at second cross section, walk straight through and go left on the way back. Whatever that means. Walk straight through. But it also could have to do with the thing that I saw before where I went left to the teleporter and the little illusion part of the fork. I, I don't know. It's kind of vague. Maybe it's like that, and then I go left here on my way back. Ah! Oh, that was it. That was it. That's what it meant by cross-section. We did it. We did it, Reddit! We did it, Reddit! Yes! We posted a picture of a cat and somebody's boobs. We did it. That's what Reddit is, right? It's cats and boobs? Pretty sure, anyway. Well, Reddit is the internet, so I imagine there are cats there, yes. Yes, but are they as popular as the, the cats and the boobs? Looks like you're modulating faces on cooldown. I'm modulating like your face! Whoa! Okay, that's different. Like we figured out whatever that's supposed to be. Gigmantis. Wow, this thing is Gigmantis. It's this. Arm down. No, no, arms down. Arms down, I say. Has nothing. 
I should steal from regular enemies. Oh my god, that screech! I didn't know we- I thought horror games was over! God! You wake up when it's dark and leave your office when it's dark. That's the worst part about winter, right? <clears throat> Is when it just seems like you work, walk through the entire day. I've done that before. Wake up dark, leave dark, and it's just like, all right, great. Let's see if Valkyrie does anything. Wow, a thousand twenty two. Oh, baby, twelve hundred. Oh, come on. That's so stupid, dude. I freaking hate it when I give my healer all the freaking agility in the game and she still gets outsped. Okay, he's outspeeding even Jack. This is bad. I might game over here. <laughs> Pikachu, Pikachu ate his Wheaties or something. I was just, I was kind of being negligent on the healing because I was doing a lot of damage and most of the bosses up to this point have not really been a threat. So I kind of, uh, I, I let myself get into that position by not taking the boss seriously. So it's my own fault. God, that noise. Welcome back, Crack Tomb. Man, it was almost dead that whole time too. Forgot to use a lucky card, but maybe next time. S seriously? I needed a mantis head specifically in order to hit that switch? I was only able to hit that switch by using the skull of a mantis. No, no, nothing else would work. Nope. Had to have this in order to hit the switch. <laughs> no, no, no. It wasn't hard. I just, I wasn't, I was making light of the boss simply because I hadn't had experience. I hadn't had an experience that was challenging yet. It was my own fault.
Oh boy. Oh, great. <sighs> great. Wait, did I just accidentally do the right... <laughs> I accidentally went the right way. Right away. But the thing is, is there, there's treasures in that teleport maze. You know there are. We have to, we have to go back. We have to. No, they're not related at all. In fact, I don't think they have anything in common at all. Uh, who, who, who's the, the developer that does Golden Sun again? Uh, Camelot. Camelot does Golden Sun. They're the people that did Shining Force and Beyond the Suck. I mean, Beyond the Beyond. <clears throat> and I think Camelot's responsible for something else that is more recent. I'm having trouble remembering what that is. Mario Tennis Aces, there you go. But this is made by Sony. Well, uh, it's at least published by Sony. Considering how bad the localization is, I wouldn't be surprised if they developed it too. Shining Resonance? Oh boy, great. There's a good game. Catch up to the class, Crixie. The XP in here is really good. 600? That's insane. Like, the last dungeon was giving me, like, 50. Although, my levels aren't really going out that much faster, so there's probably like, some kind of soft cap at about 20. Would be my guess. Oh yeah, where I can download more RAM? Yeah, definitely, dude. Gotta download more more RAM. What are you? I don't know, be another one of those random bosses. This is the world of mirages, the curving light and the endless. Free me from this prison of mirages, and innocent one. Let the power of light show this world some shadows. Flash rune. Nice. I forgot to check the death rune. Oh, no, I didn't. Flash! Da -da! Save you on the universe! I mean, that's just a straight-up upgrade. Which means it, it gives some strength, vitality, resilience, parry, and defense. That's pretty good. This one also takes me to the end, does it? Huh. So Media Vision technically developed this game, but Sony only published it. Smack that cock. I mean, rooster. I mean, chicken. <clears throat> chicken. It's, a ch ch it's a chicken, okay? Ba -da -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. 
It's a roost. It's a rooster. Funny enough, <laughs> Wild Arms 4, 5, and XF were not localized by Sony. Why is that funny? <laughs> Why is that funny? Do they also have bad localizations? Exceed, oh boy. Uh, I, I can't tell if that's worse or not. So should I expect super mega waifu anime adventures with Wild Arms 4 and 5? and 71 basic attack, man. Jack is slapping. I mean, sorry. What's his name? Thief. Okay. Wow, I just got debated by all of those. What a jerk dungeon, making me go back for all three of those stupid teleporters for nothing. All for a bracelet, by the way. But it makes me feel warm and fuzzy on the inside. I don't know anything about the rest of the games. All I'm saying is that Xseed is typically known for translating games, a lot of the time made by Bandai, <clears throat> which means super mega waifu adventure video game of, you know, your typical generic anime garbage. Uh, so that's that's kind of where that was going at. I'm not sure who wanted the damn bracelet. Do you know why this your bracelet hurt him? I come to the beaches to scavenge sometimes. You never know. Wow. Wow. to see some plot. You know, I never took it out of the, the bookshelf when I saw it. Let's look at a Wild Arms 5 cover. Doesn't look that bad. Just some short shorts. Some cowboy boots. Definitely animu though. Yes, storylines that are very rounded. What else is well-rounded? A basketball. True. Very true. 
and boobs. Gotta find Dan or Dan's wife or something. Hey, Brash, thank you for 49 months resub. Wow, that's a long time, buddy. Thank you. This is the town of shit. Everybody else calls it shit because it's shit. I mean, it's a nice place. Wait. Is this the inn or the pub? It's both. <laughs> it's like, wait, why am I being able to stay the night at the at the pub? Thank you. This is the price bracelet I gave to my wife. You found it for me in the garden. If only we had the sense to distinguish between courage and stupidity. My wife's death taught me a harsh lesson about what's truly precious. Courage and stupidity. Many think that courage is power. Real power is when you surpass your own desires to protect something dear. Courage slowly builds up. Courage slowly builds up inside thief. Sonic vision force acquired. Oh, okay. So the merchant ship is here, now we can cross the inner sea. Tide washes up debris from all over the inner sea. Just recently, the remains of a ghost ship washed up on the beach. Ghost ship, but we can't go yet. Let's check this thing out. I wonder if the next dungeon is a ghost ship. No, they wouldn't do that. Okay, that guy's gone. For <laughs> the regular guy. Oh, yes. Is that the room you rent by the hour? It's a ghost ship. That's. I can see it from here. There's a go. It's a, definitely a ghost ship. It may be a ship on the horizon, but it's definitely, definitely a ghost ship. I've been trying, Rage is in. The Dream Chasers. I was surprised to see you after what happened last time. Our luck hasn't gotten any better. Now we're involved in this ghost ship mess. Uh. You guys always seem to appear when I need you. My soulmates. Whoa, whoa. Bag it up, bag it up. Can you guys give me a hand again, please? Hey, Brash, with the sub gift as well to uh, Cer Xerxes. Is that like Cerxy Lan Lannister? <laughs> Thank you for the support, Brash. I want you to get rid of this ghost ship that's frightening everyone at the port. If you succeed, people at the port will be happy again. We'll be able to resume trade. Of course, you'll be known as the Dream Chasers to save the port. You see, it's a win-win situation. Isn't that a great plan? Hey, no hurry. You need to make some preparations first. Come back when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay, we'll transfer from Sweet Candy to the ghost ship. Watch, it's going to be a special ship, and it's going to turn into my boat. That's a very special ship. Come back to the boat if you get into trouble. We'll be waiting for you. Why is the chef with them? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, 
You're a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> this is freaking wild arms, man. How are you spooking me like that? Thank you for your VG for the $3.13 donation. M -m 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 Magic. Oh, I don't like this. We'll just blow up the candle. Christine, apparently. Oh, our most spooky dolls, okay. Christina Aguilera. Spooky dolls, spooky dolls, spooky doll go away now. Secret sign? Consume one less MP. Oh. Wow. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Cool. There's a horror movie named Christine. Who is there now? The dead do not speak yet. Is the horror movie named Christine good? We watched a thing called uh, Hereditary the other night. It was okay. I thought it was a little bit of a slow start, but it had a good payout. Wait. Oh. You just go straight to wife. You're just like meat and then wife. Boom. We're not going to date. We're just going to get married. Twelve hundred experience. Holy shit. I want to kill all the skeletons. Yo. Yeah, you guys are so spooky. I'm totally scared. Come get me. Weathered skeleton. Darn. There is a piece of paper folded in the book. The stuff is behind a hidden door. No one knows about the hidden switch on the side of the bed. Maybe it's in a different room. Well, it smells lovely now that I've been in it. Mm 
Christina's from the 1983. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Christina's a Stephen King book turned into a movie. Oh. Well, that makes it much more interesting. By the way, do you guys know what we get to, we get to do tomorrow? We get to play more of this tomorrow. Oh yeah. Our arms are going to be twice as wild tomorrow. We are men of the sea, pirating and smuggling is our life. We'll still be able to fight even if we get shaved down to our bones. Give me that free 1200 experience, baby. Wacky and wild, flailing arm, inflatable flaming guy. Maybe they are parodying. That is different. I hate that the surge button is run. It's really annoying. It's the only bed I found though. Beds that I found. Yeah, what real really grinds your gears, right, Jason? Why I can't figure out how they got all the flavor into a spoonful of cinnamon toast crunch. You must be an adult. <laughs> I knew it. Rageson just outed himself as an adult. Get him. New York City. Get a rope. Oh goody, a potion berry. All my woes and troubles have now been solved. Thank you, video game. I have nothing to fear or worry about ever for the rest of the time.
Well, that's just one little treasure. So I must have missed something on the beds. It's the only thing, uh, it's the only path I can take is looking better, more closer at each bed. We should take a black light over it. Maybe then I'll be able to see what's uh, lurking in the shadows. Just on being in here, at least be on my lap so I can watch you. <laughs> kitty, please, kitty, please. There you go. There you go, buddy. Hopefully there aren't any ghost wives or ghost husbandos to ghost ship. That would be the real, the real suffering. Okay, she doesn't have it right now. The dead do not speak. Tell it to the other dead people that were talking. Stuff is hidden behind is, is is behind a hidden door. No one knows about this hidden switch on the side of the bed. I mean, that's what I've been doing. Kitty, no. Nope. It's either on on the lap or on the floor. Your choice. Oh great! Here comes his brother. Oh, so you have chosen death. Oh my God. That scared the hell out of me. Damn it. I really thought somebody was storming the window or the door because Ginger had just started walking around and I was like, well, the door is open and then it, uh, that sounded like it was being pushed open a little bit. Thank you, VG, for the 212. You absolute jerk faced butthead. <laughs> I'm explosive in bed. Lol. Look at the jokes that I can make about it. my prowess with the ladies. It totally means that I'm definitely what I say.
Meow, 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 meow. Oh, she's dead. Whoops. Has she been dead for more than one battle? Because, like, I've seriously just been, like, trying to contend with these cats right now that I haven't really been paying attention to most of the battles. Stop it. Stop. You can't revive... You can't... Oh, you get revived out of battle. Okay, cool. It's gotta be this bed, right? Because it's, like, the only one that's, like, not up against the wall. There we go. Can't stop it. In, in three years time, I would like to still be able to wear this shirt and not have little snags all over it, okay? Okay, kitty? No, stop it. I take it easy, Mog. I'm, I'm assuming you're going to go play some D&D, so have a good one. The Final Fantasy Fiesta. The annual event. The biggest event on Twitch.tv featuring Final Fantasy video games. All the Final Fantasies. No running. Additional challenges and incentives apply. What will they do? Follow FF underscore Fiesta on Twitter for more details. As well as the link for a Discord invitation to interact with the community. Discuss Final Fantasy games. Discuss strategies of the incentives. Where 7 and BGG are not allowed to watch or view. So I'm assuming these guys have like some kind of death mechanic and that's what I'm dying to. Oh, that's some trashies. That's some trashies. Get him, Stinky. By the way, the, the Final Fantasy Fiesta Discord has been up for like, what? Two days? And there's already like 300 people in it. It's pretty freaking awesome. Poison berry. That looks like a boss. Let's go this way. Not in it. Feels good, man. Maybe all the floors get repaired when we defeat the spirit or something.
We don't have those 12 packs ab 12 pack abs. Psh. Speak for yourself. I have a costume that I can put on that'll give me all the abs that I want. So Yeah, that's right. Hey ladies. I have abs. That's right. Automatic braking system. Your safety is important to me. <laughs> it's called a keg pop up. <laughs> Hey, a keg is better than a six pack. Kitty? No. No, kitty. Hey. Versus. <laughs> I'm not trying to pet you. I'm trying to shoo you away. You are such a dumb cat. <laughs> I'm trying to scoot him away because he keeps freaking being a butthead. He's trying to get in his love. And so I'm trying to scoot him out of the, the room, and he's just like, oh, oh, you're coming back around for pets? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I could go for some pets right now. <laughs> oh, you jerks. You did it. If you get a community pyramid, I sub gift into the channel. Dead will roam the wasteland now. Celebrate our glory with your lives. Do, do, do. It looks like two legs with a bull skull on top. All right, well, whatever. Hey, what's up, NPC? You know, one thing I really love about this game is the menus are incredibly responsive. There's just like no delay between inputs and I love it. Banishing Buster Anchor. Need to land that defense down. Halt right there, criminal scum! No, do not, do not smell my finger and lick my hand and, and rub your face against my hand. That is not. No, you are a bad. <laughs> oh, I didn't see if I landed the defense down or not. I think I may have? 875 is pretty high. I think I did land the defense down. Or 500, you know. It's basically the same number, just just one less zero. And zero is literally no number at all. So basically 500 and 5,000 are the exact same number.
Yeah, but it's a zero. It has no value. Zero means zero. There's nothing. So 500 and, and 5,000 are the same number because it's nothing. There's no, there's, if the difference is nothing, then they're the same. You can't deny my logic. A thousand, nice. Zero was not discovered. <laughs> Who invented zero? Focus strength on attack. All right, let's try it out. Well, let's do summon and then Sonic Vision. I Mazi. <laughs> Are you just taking that joke out back like old Yeller? <laughs> Sigh, boy. Gotta put you down. <laughs> Curses! I knew math teachers were all evil! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, holy shit! <laughs> Eighteen hundred, dude. <laughs> Keep on forgetting those lucky cards. I need to move it in my inventory to the top of the line. If I were to like arrange. Where are they? Insignificant zero? Wow. Leave the ghost ship? No. There's still treasures on this ship. I gotta find them all. Hey! Hey, get out of there. Get. Okay, I gotta, I gotta do some investigation because he keeps wanting to get behind my computer for some reason. I gotta look. He probably dragged something in there that he's not supposed to get into. Sneaky little bastard. And it was a picture of Ginger from three years ago. Three and a half years ago when he was just an itty bitty little kitty. Pie not be, may not be rational, but eating pie is rational. Well, nothing changed on the ship. I don't know if I can... I don't know if I can actually get those trashies or not.
Oh no! Now the trenches! No! <laughs> This is the darkest timeline. You guys helped me not once but twice. My prod and honor tells me to give you the use of my ship. <laughs> sure. This will allow you to travel the inner sea. By the way, why are you guys traveling around Phil Guy anyway? They told Bartholomew the entire story. The demons, guardians, the stolen teardrop. Wow, I had no idea you kids were so stupid. Uh, but it sounds exciting. Let me and Sweet Kenny take care of the sea. Captain, I favored ask. I'm from Aldehyde, and the town was destroyed by monsters. Wanna go and rebuild it? That's right, you were the architect. Don't worry about us, we'll be fine. Go and rebuild your town. Thanks for everything, I'm in your debt. Thank you, that's all for the dollar fifty. I feel like there's a way to get those treasures, just not now. I think I could probably, like, I get, like, a, I'm willing to bet you, like, get a submarine or that you draw, dr dredge the ship from the bottom or something. He's a very talented person. I'll probably make out a lot better than it was before. Because there was a lot that I couldn't access, you know? Okay, we'll make preparations for departure. We'll meet you at the beach outside of town. It works, Vazero, don't worry. Thank you for the dollar fifty. You really need a better note of the alerts. I thought about making a, a spreadsheet with them, but I don't know. I feel weird about that. I don't know why. I tried. I tried. I can't do it. Why would I feel weird? I don't know. I just it feels weird. Like, hey, look at all these ways you can give me money. Go ahead and just do it now. I don't know. I just feel feels weird. The, the alerts are meant to be like fun little things for you guys to enjoy. And when it's like a documented, it just feels so, I don't know. I don't know. It just feels, makes it feel icky. I mean, I probably should, right? I'm probably just being stupid. Oh, the treasuries! Go, no. They washed up. They washed up, wind vane. Crest graph. What's a wind vane? Avoid surprise attacks a hundred percent. Ooh. Yeah, but no stats. Yeah, the vote still counts. Yeah. You already answered, but does the variety night reset during the fiesta? No, no, no. It only resets when it, when credits start and a new game is voted in. So, like, as soon as we see credits for for Wild Arms, that's the cutoff point. The leading game wins, and then the the votes will reset once I'm, once I start the review. Uh, but otherwise, no, they continue on. Abso friggin' lately. So I've been, I've been around the the, the whole freaking thing back and forth about whether or not I should reset votes or not, and I know a couple people that have taken the idea of the viewer choice night like Center Select and and uh, the next list with Phenomenon. They've they've been inspired by my viewer choice list to do similar things themselves. They both continue votes on infinitely, but when I created this, uh, I thought about that same thing. People like we talked it out in the the secret channel and everything. The 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 moderator channel that we have on Discord. And we we really discussed it at length many times over the history of the list as well, the stream. And I, I've all we most people and myself have always felt that it's either 50-50 or uh I personally think it's it's like better for you guys to reset it each time because uh otherwise you can just kind of front load Oh, yeah, maybe, yeah. 
people can just front load it and it becomes a playlist rather than like actually, you know, a new chance for older game other games to get in. Cause it's like if someone puts a little bit on a game and continues to do that and then uh it never it doesn't get in, like it's never going to get in and off all the other games are getting tons of votes and they're just stacking and stacking and stacking and stacking and stacking, and stacking you know? So it becomes, like I said, it becomes a playlist instead of like, okay, it's a fresh vote now. We can all try again for a new game. And uh, it, it just, I feel it's so much better for, for people. Like, cause obviously, you know, there's a, people that have, uh, have given hefty amounts of support in the past and have definitely swayed where the viewer choice list goes. And if that continues to stack, other games are just never going to see the light of day. If it wasn't for that, we'd never have played Nino Kuni or Donkey Kong Country or a lot of those other games that we've played because people have continued to stick with their game that they voted. And when a new one comes in, you know, anybody has a chance of getting whatever game they want to get in each time around, you know? You disagreed, respect. That's oh, fair. No, it's totally fair. I get it. I, I, I don't want your guys' votes to feel like nothing either. That's enough. That's like the, 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 like the moral choice for the other side. It's like, well, my game didn't win, so I felt like my votes didn't feel like they mattered. And to that, I, I just say, I, I wish I could do it both ways. <laughs> but like my moral compass points in the other direction. Uh, and that's just where it is. Uh, I, I think... I think basically it's it's damned if you do, damned if you don't. Some people are gonna want it to reset, and others are gonna want it to continue forever. You know, so that's just kind of the where where I'm at on it, and I'll stick with it. Maybe you can do both ways and switch off for each choice. I don't see a way that that's feasible to switch. Like, continue for one game and then reset? I don't know. Feels like a lot of uh, chaos there. Guess I should go out of the map. I want to be as fair to everybody as I possibly can. And and the, the reality is, you just, there is no, there is no perfectly fair. They, somebody's going to want it the other way around, or, you know, someone's going to feel slighted or something, you know? Whoa. That's a boat theme. No encounters, please. Oh, I can't go in the shallow water. Okay. Boo! Don't put encounters on boats. It's archaic. Half the votes for the games that didn't win. It would still stack up. I don't know. I I like the idea. I like the... I like that... 25? Yeah. That's a good idea. I'll have, to, I'll have to consider that. I like I like the concept. I like that that way there's still something that you put into it that sticks around, you know? So, so like, the games that have been continually supported will still have, like, a, a chance, you know, of getting in, you know, where it's not just a playlist. But, yeah, no, I think there's something there. I think we could work out. So I'll, I'll have to run it by some people, discuss it, think about it, make sure that, like, we're not betraying others by doing this, you know? Like, we're not um, we're not digging ourselves in a, in a ditch in another direction instead, you know? So I'm gonna make a notation. In fact, I'm gonna make a, a comment in the on our mod channel right now and let people hash it out while, we're, while we finish up streaming. It's, it's definitely, it definitely, I love the concept because I would love to make everybody happy if I can, right? That's the ideal situation. Volcano trap. Uh, but, you know, it's hard to do that, right? It's hard to make everybody happy. Okay, that's definitely a dungeon. 
a trial period or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> and basically, I'm just slapping my hands on the keyboard, pretending I'm asking them. And then I'm just like, nope, guys, yeah, sorry. They didn't like the idea. Yeah, they brought up some really good points, and I'm just going to say no. A duplicator. Cool. There's Adelheid. Let's go in there. No, I, I legitimately love the idea, because I always feel bad wiping the votes every time. Uh, I don't I don't like it. But I feel it's the, like, morally superior choice because uh, it allows for people to have more freedom for what game gets chosen. But giving a little bit of value, like if you didn't win, it's like a consolation prize anyway. Like, hey, you get a little bit of a bump up. The only thing that, that concerns me is, like, if it doesn't get in again, that's another 25% of the previous, previous votes. But I guess that kind of makes sense. It's like compiling a little bit, you know? It's like you, they get a little bit of interest, and then interest counts towards. It would be a lot more work on my part because I'd have to math out 25% or 50% or whatever number I chose each <coughs> each week. But maybe Rageson can put a number in, in the next to it in parentheses that's, that says this is how much will be saved. An algorithm can easily make it so it's not compounded. Well, honestly, shouldn't it be, you know? I mean, not compounded, but like the previous 25% or 50% or number or value that you got should carry over. I mean, and then you get 25% or 50% of that one. Like, let's say it's 50, then you still get, it would end up being 25% of that at the end, but I mean, it would still, I think it's, I think it's a smaller number, so it wouldn't matter too much. Wiping the votes has its advantages, BGG. Finn regularly talks about how so many of the games on his list don't get so much votes, but that's actually a result of not wiping the votes. Yeah, exactly. That's my problem. I see Finn's list, and I'm just like, man, it's like it's like you already know what he's going to play, you know, kind of thing. And I, and I feel like part of the fun of viewer choice list is that any game is up for grabs any time a new vote starts, you know? Don't forget to protect the world. You must sacrifice yourself. Uh, what? No. I should not sa No, do not sacrifice yourself. Hey, take it easy, Bob. Have a good night, dude. I will, I will say if I do implement something like this, it'll be after the fiesta because that's going to screw things up royally if I do it before. <laughs> Plus, I need time to think about it and implement it and stuff. See if Rageson can write some software or something, create a new column, that kind of thing. I, ideally, I want it to be as le as, as le least, as little complicated as possible. Complication just makes every, everybody's head spin, so. Nice, nice. Okay, I guess that's kind of cool. People don't feel the need as much to focus on a single one game. A single person might vote for a game X on a round, then vote for game Y on the next. Well, I mean, I don't think that matters. I think that's just decision making. If people are free to choose however they want to. I've had people change their votes all the time. In fact, I give everybody 24 hours to change their vote if they want to, which almost never happens. I'm saving my glyphs for, like, a next round of magic because these magics all seem like a tier one kind of thing. And I th I'm pretty sure there's a tier two of magics. I, I remember reading a sign saying something about extreme magics or something on this island. All right, well, what's your, what's your point? And then let's go from there. Like, what's the, uh, the point that, that's being made that I'm missing? Lucky card. I, I do very, very much like the idea. I like the concept. <clears throat> and I would like to 
do what I can to facilitate everybody's, you know, so everybody, more people can be happy. That's the idea. That's what I try to do every day. Do you mean like, do you don't feel like your previous votes were wasted if you change your vote because they're still gonna be there? Is that what you mean? Where are we in the game? We just got the boat. Huh. We've been here. Ranked choice voting? What do you mean? We, we were considering the, the, the possibility of keeping some of the votes, not all of the votes. So like keep 50 or 25% or something where the two numbers suggested. Do you manually wipe? Yeah, you see it before I do the review. Doesn't that isn't that a dis, isn't that a discussion in my favor of way of doing it? Yeah, that you get a, you get that freedom. Yeah, because you're gonna consistently always push the same game until it wins. Otherwise, you kind of you can be a little wild and be like, you know what? I actually want this one. Yeah. Sacrifice the innocent heart of the sleeping giant. So you don't have to like stick with your your game for all eternity, you know. I get you. So so it's so you're you're saying that that's a, that's an advantage to wiping votes is that you have this freedom. That's kind of one of the reasons why as well. Like if people decided they changed their mind, they don't feel so locked into it, you know. But again, I mean, in the, at the end of the day, this is a really important factor. The viewer choice list is never meant to be any of this stuff the viewer choice list originally was that was made so that you as the as the viewer and supporter of the channel have some agency in the stream's direction you can help choose the content that you want to see with your support and that's kind of like my thank you you know it's really kind of meant as a as a thank you for your support here's something extra it is never ever meant to or or been designed to make anybody feel like their support doesn't matter because at the end of the day every bit of support you guys give is absolutely staggeringly important uh and i'm extremely thankful regardless of where it gets voted to or what ends up winning or whatever all it is is just a, a little bit of a means of saying hey thank you for the support why don't you have a hand in where i my stream's direction goes you know that's it that's all it is that's always what it's it's been about there are three roads cooperating on trust will bind them into one. I think this is showing us, showing us how to climb the tower. This must mean each of us has to go to separately in order to reach the top. I know it sounds dangerous, but we must separate from here on. I don't think... Yeah, that's another thing when games get added, right? Yeah. I don't have any kind of clues as to where I need to go next, so let's search around first before I just commit to going to some place. Plus, I'd like to save it. Even 10% carry-on is okay. Ha! <laughs> There's a bottle. Adventurous captain or trade ship seeks open-minded ladies 18 years plus for the rest of the letter to... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Open-minded captain. I think it'd be fair. I think it'd be more fair if it compounded. 
It just means that the longer it takes for each game to get in, the less the the, the farther away votes counted. Like if it's from five games ago, it's been you know it's been half x amount of times or whatever. So it's like reverse compounding in a way. You're gonna donate to BGD regardless of what he chooses to play. Yeah. And I appreciate that. And I, and I and I I really want that to like I I I really want it to 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 be understood that you know the support is what I what what I really am thankful for and whatever game gets in it's all the same to me personally it's all the same every game on that list I want to essentially play equally or else they wouldn't be on that list I would just not put things on the list if I wasn't interested in playing them you know Oh, by the way, hey, I can show you. I can show you this because I have a camera now. I guess. Uh, what what Ginger was chewing on. We'll wait until the, the battle stops doing stuff. The picture of Ginger. Well, he's just a little kitty. You can tell his head is so much smaller, but his body's still pretty big. You can see uh, right there the teeth marks from Coconut. Bad kitty. Oh, I guess you can see my mixer knobs, yeah. <laughs> or compressor, rather, not a mixer. Hidden shop! For a thousand gala, we can change your name to a brand new one. How about it? No. Sorry, names are set in stone. No, coconut was chew chewing on ginger. Oh, that's poor Timmy. Unless I play Fortnite, I can guarantee you beyond a shadow of a doubt that I will never play Fortnite, League of Legends, or almost any MMO. Or like PUBG or something like that. Almost, almost guarantee you. There's a very small chance that, that would happen in case like very specific circumstances were come to pass. It's not about the, it's not about how much I think people are going to donate Psycho Sheep. It has nothing to do with that. That's, that's the, literally the least important thing. I, I don't care what I think, like, would encourage more donations or not. What I want to do is be fair. Although it could be argued one way or the other on what would be more, like, encouraging to that thing. If the LOL-related single-player RPG is good, will I play it? Maybe. I did used to play League of Legends a lot, but I quit when... Right after Ziggs came out. I loved playing as Ziggs and Ari and Kennen. Those were my favorites. And then I, uh, when Ziggs came out, I played some more and then stopped. It's been fun, but you gonna lurk and pass out? Hey, Darian, sleep well, buddy. We'll catch you later. More Wild Arms tomorrow, by the way. AFK Arena. That's probably another thing that'll never happen is a gacha game. Unless maybe Genshin Impact, maybe, maybe if I was like feeling super chill and lonely and I, I was like late at night, it's like, fuck it, I'm gonna stream. Maybe, but very unlikely.
Well, it's not that. I mean, I used to stream Final Fantasy XIV, actually. I was doing the Savage Raids. But now it's just, I just don't have time. I don't have room for that in my schedule or my, my time. What's more likely, Senren Kagura or Fortnite? Senren Kagura is actually significantly more likely. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, add that into the, the, the mod channel, Psycho Sheep, you know, if you if you guys aren't already talking about it, just give me some good feedback. Let me know what you guys think about it. Because, I mean, I'm kind of on the fence about it. I, I don't really, I like the idea, but I need to make sure that, you know, there isn't something that we're missing that's going to really piss people off. That's another thing, VG. I'm already Adventure Rank 42, so streaming... Kenshin would be like, hey, look, I did my dailies. All right, cool. That was a good stream. Have I been on this island? Looks kind of familiar. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. I think I'm going to throw up. Dude, it's not five feet away. It's like miles away, man. You, you know what? Relative distance, come on. Or suspension of disbelief or whatever. World map is not a literal size. <laughs> Quick question for the cooks of the chat. I bought some meat stuffed mushroom caps to try them out. I need to cook them. What temp and how long would you guys recommend? It depends on how you're cooking them. I would probably bake them because on a stove top, you're gonna get really uneven heat uh, unless you cover it. If you cover it on a stovetop, make sure that there's, you're not burning them. So there's like butter or uh, water or something on the bottom of the pan so it doesn't burn. Cover it and then let it steam in there for 20 minutes on low, medium heat, probably-ish. Just make sure that the meat is cooked all the way through. Uh, but I would probably bake them and I would probably uh, brush the mushrooms with olive oil to prevent them from burning as well. And yeah, probably about 375 for, well, it's hard to say, but yeah, 15 minutes probably sounds about right. Three seventy-five might be a little too high for beef because beef only needs to come to 140 degrees to kill anything in it that's bad. Chicken or poultry, on the other hand, needs to be 175 in the center. Uh, if you have a thermometer, make sure it's, I think, 140 or 145 in the center for beef. If not, that's fine. But I think one, I think 170 is a little low. It might be like 300, 250. I would look up some stuff. Microwave on high for 30 seconds, yeah. You can't overcook mushrooms? They would, yeah, I mean, they will definitely shrivel up, though. I would, I would try a medium heat first, but I mean, if you, you want to put them on the pan, it's a lot easier because you can watch them. And as long as you can cover it on the pan, it's probably a lot easier to do that. But you, you will not be able to cook them on the pan unless you're covering them because the heat would just be way too uneven. <laughs> this is the town of Rosetta. It's a nice town, just like me. You're a nice town. You're, you're literally an entire town. Wow, that's impressive. Oh, we got some up. We got some weapons, baby. These are some decent upgrades here.
There's a little girl living by herself at the east edge of town. I'm not surprised I'm supposed to play with her, though. Beef 145, pork 145, chicken 165, hamburger 160? Why hamburger 160? You're gonna burn your burgers. Yeah, they're gonna be hockey pucks. Beef is beef. I mean, unless they're running it through the same machines they run their poultry through. Beef is beef. The uh, that lives in this town is probably the last uh, in Phil Gaia. I wonder why it stays here. You thought it was 145 too? I'm pretty sure that's a safety because a lot of people run, they potentially have poultry contaminants when they're running their beef through the grinder. I think that's why that's considered 160. <clears throat> but... In fact, a lot of times if you go to restaurants, you can't even order a burger medium rare. It has to be medium or higher. So I think that's where that's coming from. Yeah, but beef doesn't normally need to be cooked to 160. That's why you can eat your steak blue and not really risk anything. It's okay. Honestly, the problem with blue steak is that it's a little, uh, it's harder to, to chew and cut and stuff. I prefer medium rare because the, the, the grains have cooked more solid and it's still tender and still flavorful. Wow, I haven't gotten new hats in some time. Pretty flowers. I didn't know that beauty like this still existed in Phil Gaia. Get your fucking hands off me flower! I'll pop you one, eh? I mean, oh hey, do you like flowers? Are these your flowers? They're beautiful. I'm different from you. Awkward opening, but okay. I'll get you in trouble if I talk to you. You're an L, aren't you? Met you kind before in a ruin. Although it was only a holographic projection. I learned that all of the ugh, disappeared after the war with the demons. But here you are in front of me. I, I'm the only one left in Phil Gaia. I'm all alone. What do you mean alone? I have to pay penance here. That's why I could not leave here with the rest of them. Oh, right, give me that thing. Wait, well, I'll play with it now. Give it to me. What a bunch of rat-faced kids. The three of them against one girl. That's an... Uh, you'll be cursed. Hey, what? Our father's the mayor of the town. You're gonna be cursed. Why did you do that for me? No one has ever been nice to me in a long time. I'm supposed to be alone forever. Thank you for your help today. Those boys always mess with my flowers. You have nice flowers. You must like them or not. These flowers possess strength as well as beauty. They come up through the hard ground. I love that strength. You trying to bring back the greenery in your own way? That's real strength. Strength a person like myself can't, ma can't manage. I'm not strong. I'm a... Stupid doo-doo butthead. The father of those boys has a grave illness. I know the cure. I kept quiet because... <sighs> a nerve called the Arnisha grows in the forest to the south. The Arnisha will cure his illness. I was afraid they'd do terrible things to the forest, so I kept silent. 
You'll be strong with France. Let's go to the forest and get some of that Arnisha tomorrow. 54 freaking months, Kim. Goodness. Thank you, Kim. Hope you're doing well. You just ate and you're hungry again talking about burgers? Yeah. <laughs> yeah th that's what I was saying, the grinding process. Yeah. It's potential that they may have been grinded in the same machine as, as poultry. Although I would say ground poultry is gross. I've never once had ground poultry where it didn't have like chunks of something in it. Like like you get little bits of bone or hard stuff. I don't know. And it just, uh, this just tastes wrong. Every single time. I, I cannot stand ground poultry. It sucks. You only like blue if the out has, outside has a good sear? Well, I mean, shit, that's the point, right? Steaks with good good fat should be medium rare at least. Oh, I mean, I agree. You got to get that like, like almost iridescent, clear, buttery fat, right? And you can't get that with blue. You just cannot. Absolutely agree with you on that, Quino. Like, like a ribeye has to be medium rare. It's just no better way to have it. And nice, tender, like tenderize the fat and everything. So you just bite into it. And it's just like, it's just, it's just not even there. Just flavor gushing into your mouth. Oh, 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 oh so good. Whew. I don't trust people who like their steak well done either. Right, Fiji? <laughs> You just spend most of your time living in Texas. You just moved away, and now I don't have steaks readily available for a good price like I used to. Well, I mean, you can always go to the grocery or a butcher. There's butchers everywhere. I don't live in Texas. I live in Nevada, and I can get a good steak here very easily. Also, it has to do with preparation. You can get a bad cut of meat and make it taste magnificent with the right preparation. Jack is very Brad-esque. I'm actually voicing him like Brad on purpose. <laughs> the thing with raw beef isn't so much bacteria as fresh ingredients and basic food handling can reduce that. However, taxoplasmosis and tapeworm cannot be killed by food storage methods. Once they are in the meat, they are there until the meat is heated to proper temp. Yeah. Yeah. I just, no, I've, I've had ground turkey and chicken. To convince me you to make and send you jerky for your birthday. <laughs> I could do that. I could absolutely do that. I, I would need a, um, a air sucker thingy, though, to seal it for you. I haven't made jerky in a while, but I could absolutely send you some. Turkey burgers can be good. I don't know. I've, I've just never had... Good. You're <laughs> making you want steak. <laughs> I'm sorry, Craigsy. Make you jerky. When is your birthday? How close am I to Vegas? About six or seven hours drive. It's pretty far. Pennies. Of the oh, you mean the price? Really? Huh? Because I mean. Uh, I guess it's like if I wanted a good ribeye thick cut steak, it would be like probably 15 bucks per, uh, which is like what, 12, like $10 a pound, I think, something like that. But somewhere on there, it's, which is pretty expensive, but not that bad. For the, for the quality that you get, it's worth it. If you want to treat yourself, you know. Your birthday's a Saturday. Oh, shit. I guess I better get on that. I'll have to see if I can get some flank steak. I don't know if I can get my hands on flank steak because the grocery around here doesn't always carry it. And that's all I, I need flank steak. Because it's got it's got the the um the uh the lines, what are the lines called? The grain that I need, and it's lower fat. You want you want low fat meat when making jerky because the the fat does not not do very well in dehydration process. You want a little bit, but not a lot, yeah. Yeah, you know what? I'm even going to make a notation. I'm going to make a note. Make jerky 
Note Maiden. Got a question for mods who use blocked terms. Trying to combat the bots that try to sell you follows. Is there a method to have an effective blocks term? Yes. Uh, the, basically, the web page thing or the, the term, like the specific terminology that they use, like, you know, big follow.com or whatever, you just take that term and, and blacklist it, and then you blacklist variations of it as well. Or parts of it. That's it. Easy peasy. Steaks in Texas are cheap because there's beef everywhere. Yeah, true. And a local grocery store, specifically Croker. Generally speaking, the more bulk you buy, the cheaper per pound it is. So you buy like four steaks, around 10 pounds. What you want to do is go to a butcher. Like don't go to, if you want to like a really good, well-cut steak that's going to be a fair price, go to a butcher. Find a local butcher. I want a stack. I'm going to make a steak. Hey, Kim. Kim, too. <laughs> Nahiri is Kim as well. The Arnica is one of my flower fields. Oh, okay. I, I thought I was going to have to read that, so I stopped to talk, and then I could have been talking this whole time. <laughs> hey, I'm glad you liked it so much. I love I love making jerky. It's just a long process, and with my schedule, it's hard to find the because you got to do stuff at specific times. It's gotta it's got to marinate for a specific amount of time, and it's got to cook for a specific amount of time because you don't want to overcook it, obviously. So when I'm streaming, it's usually really hard to do it, and then to set it up before I start streaming, also kind of hard. But I can I can figure it out. Don't worry. We can get you some jerky. How far from alien jerky am I? I've never heard of that. I used to make jerky a whole bunch more before that limit break. That was like the last time I made jerky. I need I, I need to start making it more regularly because it's a fantastic stream snack. It's a jerky stop near the southern, southern border of Nevada. It's actually in California, but it's close enough you could skip over the border. I, I live in Reno, which is western Nevada. Like, you know where the, the, the diagonal point is? Like, when the, like you have the straight line of the top, the top of Nevada, and it goes down, and then it cuts back down along California's border? I'm right there. Boop. I don't approve you getting mixed up in the children's affairs. What do you gain from protecting that little girl? Uh, being a decent human being? What, what do you get from being a fucking racist shitbag? Other than invoking the ire of every decent person around you. strange rumors started. Reno's a good place, yeah. Gotta go to work. Hey, take it easy. Have a good day? Kim. <laughs> Did I get an air fryer? Yeah. I think we decided not to go with an air fryer. At least, yeah, anyway. We, we saw some less than appealing 
uh, outcomes with some air fryer stuff. See, I don't know. They might work fine, but we're also kind of not really picky, but we definitely appreciate good food. So we want we we want to take the the path of best quality of food, not best convenience of food. And we we read a couple things that uh, made it suggest that uh, while it's more convenient, it's not as good. And yeah, Reno is legit. I love it here. Honestly, I used to hate it here, of course. I mean, I was born here, so of course you hate it. But then I left to other places of the world, and I've been I've been to a lot of different places, and I always come back, and I'm like, wow, it's so much nicer here. <laughs> it's not humid. The crime rate's low. Everything's clean. It's, it's nice. Not a lot of traffic. Easy to get around. Vegas is, is pretty all right, too. It's not bad. I wouldn't want to live there ever, though. But. Chef Tig is literally a chef uh, for a professional, so... An air fryer is just a really small tabletop convention oven. Yeah, that's what I've heard. And with the balloon coming from above, and you, you cook e equally across all pieces of it, yeah. Once you realize that, you can do some amazing stuff with it. Yeah, of course. Like, you only need to cook one side because it, it's it, it's all equal amounts of heat all around it, right? Because the air is blowing around. But I mean, it depends on like what you're, I, what I need to do is I need to have experience with one. If I had experience with an air fryer, knowing what, it, what its outcome is, I could more easily uh, work with it, you know? And it's, it's kind of an expensive, um, investment whereas like a fryer itself is a very cheap investment and you can just get one and you're done and it's like okay if you like it you like it if you don't you don't and you don't feel like you've lost out very much you know uh, french fries chicken strips whatever any kind of fried food the herb is full of energy this is the arnica herb it should heal the mayor's sickness hey this is an excellent playground in the middle of the forest. Let's make this our fort. It's ours for sure. It's our playground. Get out. Please, these are important herbs. Don't abuse them. I said move. Do you understand? Hey. Hey. Yeah. Oh, damn. You hit me. I'm the mayor's son. Mario came to pick these herbs for your father. Both the you and the humans live in Philgaia. Why should we fight each other when demons threaten both of us? I don't understand. It was told human history contained many battles. What's wrong with the strong leading the weak? You dream chasers possess the power to fight, so don't be a hypocrite. That's, that's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. It's okay now. Don't be afraid. I'm confused. No one's ever been nice to me. I don't know what to do. Herb Arnica obtained. I watched a video Elton Brown did a couple weeks ago and one he had, he didn't seem very intuitive. Oh, okay. I think it's more about knowing what it does than knowing how to manipulate it. It's a magical machine that seems inactive. Gornia Air Fryer 6 Quart. Frozen gyoza, just brush a little on them and cook them when they're as good as regular fried ones. Nice. Air fried chicken wings, pizza rolls, cheese sticks, chicken nugs, frozen fries. The things we want to make, though, are um, like we want to make our own batter and, 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 you know, do our own kind of homemade chicken strips and homemade fries and stuff. We like to, we like to really cook like making our own pasta last time we did pasta you know so how it handles those is going to be more important than how it handles like 
prepackaged stuff. Not to say it's not delicious. We just like to try out new recipes, you know? Usually if something is too convenient, it's for a reason, you know? Like too good to be true kind of thing. Hassle the ooh, my brother brother hassles me. The microwave is the most superior way to cook bacon. Um uh, Wow, we need to have a talk. <laughs> we, we need to sit down. We're having an intervention. Have I never tried it? No. But you can bake bacon, which is fantastic, and pan frying bacon gets you just a little bit of crispiness on the edge of it. So if you like your bacon to be not crispy or not um, soft, chewy, right? You can get it right in between where like the little like bends of it that are, that are against the pan get crispy and everything else is soft. Yeah, you can bake bacon. Yep. You put it on a cookie sheet, on a cookie pan, Let's put it in the oven. Ale brought healing herbs. Don't be ridiculous. Irma has it the ale cast a spell on me to make me sick. You should ask the people spreading these rumors how hard she fought to get these herbs for you. We met your sons at the South Forest. They should know. Let's go, Mariel. Now you have a strong heart, apparently. Yeah, brown sugar on bacon too, yeah. I don't like cooking bacon in a pan sometimes because <sighs> my hands are scarred from baking or cooking bacon. <laughs> little blobs of oil and grease pop out of my hand all the time. I had a, uh, my, my ex-girlfriend from several years ago was doing keto and her major, major thing was bacon every day, bacon and eggs. And since I was living in Canada, I couldn't work, so I cooked for her every morning, bacon and eggs. And oh my god, she wanted her eggs to be like hockey pucks. Like, super well done eggs. Same with the bacon. And so it was just bacon and eggs, cooking and oil popping on my hand for half an hour every morning. My, I just, I got PTSD from bacon, you know? <laughs> so... <laughs> you're really hungry and you're gonna go cook I'm sorry for all the people that are hungry in the channel we talk about food here I like to cook I have to water the plants I have a feeling that I can change the world like you said well she's gonna get her butt kicked by the kids probably yeah 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 I know right well done eggs what no, it was like they had to be like brown all the way around. Just like I d I didn't what? <laughs> when this is all over, you want to come cook for me? Hell yeah, dude. I'm about that life. Thank you. All I can do is give you these flowers. Small flower. I already have small flowers. You can get infinite of them. Flower girl before Eris. Just saying. Oh, the whole Gordon, Gordon Ramsay scrambled egg thing. Wait. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, scrambled eggs... I mean, it's whatever. I I will never put that much effort into scrambled eggs. I just don't feel like it's worth it, personally. For, like, a little bit better, you know? It's mostly a texture thing, it feels like, too. It's worth it. How about this? You come make me those scrambled eggs, and I'll let you know. <laughs> it just seems like so much work for scrambled eggs. 
Although the amount of effort I put into making uh, steak is definitely worth it. Sunny side up egg on bur burger is super good. Take a bite and the yolk just runs off the side and stuff. Oh, man. I'm so sorry for those hungry people in chat, but damn. I mean, just like standard good scrambled eggs is not hard, you know? Put it in a pan, dash of milk, season it, wait until they're cooked. The end. You know? And they're still fluffy and they're still flavorful. You can season how you want to. It's easy. I have an interesting pro proposal. Will you listen? Sure. Much better. Here it goes. There's a ruin called the Volcano Trap at the west edge of the inner sea. Rumor has it that the Guardian Blade used in the Ancient War a thousand years ago may rest there. I wonder why people's interest in that sort is perked up all of a sudden. I came to see if you would join my search. I want the treasure in the Volcano Trap, and you want the Guardian Blade. We would make a good team, don't you think? Leave the Volcano Trap key to me. Just take care of the monsters, okay? All right. So, I thought they said the Guardian Blade was in the desert. Crispy edge on us. Yes, me too, VG. Just like the the like the white outer edge, just just the tiniest bit brown and crispy. Yes. I like that. I cook my eggs on high heat for that reason. Yeah, that's one of the my favorite things about breakfast, like 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 a heart attack on a plate breakfast, you know? You got sausage, bacon, eggs, pancakes, french toast, whatever, you know, all the stuff, right? My favorite one of my favorite things is like pancakes or french toast, and you got the over easy eggs. You break open the yolks, and then like you got your pancakes with, you know, syrup and butter or whatever, but also dipping it in the yolk. Oh yeah. Mmm. I mean, canned corn beef and eggs is fine. It's not bad. Especially with a little salt. Yeah, it's fine. There's a lot of, like, canned or boxed foods that are really good, like pasta roni. Ugh. Pasta roni, dude. So good. It's, it's just boxed pasta with a seasoning packet, but it's freaking good. You know? What, what, what can I say? It's good. <laughs> What is that? I was like, is that little island? We have the special key to open this door. Are you sure about this, my lady? Of course, now get to it. What? <laughs> what the hell? The bomb is twice as big as they are. Where'd they hide that? <laughs> Nature's pocket, right? Nature's pocket. Yeah, nice key, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I kind of I have to appreciate this. I have to appreciate this because, like, how many times where it's just like you don't need a key, you can just like walk past that or jump over it or whatever, whatever. Okay, my lady, I got it. That was a small explosion. Check this out. Jane does her thing. I work so flawless and fat free. You guys take it from me. Take it from here. I'll take the rear. So you want the easy job, my lady? You're damn right. Kind of like Jane, but at the same time, I hate her. Dun -dun 
dun, 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 dun. Is this just another same dungeon tile except green? Box mac and cheese. I mean, I like to, the great thing about living in this climate is that you can just keep pastas in your pantry forever, like almost forever, you know, like three years, four years, fine, you know? <clears throat> and it's no problem, even longer sometimes. So you can always just keep a few boxes of like box mac and cheese in case you're desperate or whatever, or out of things. I always keep like a, a pantry with some extra stuff just in case, cheap pastas and whatever. Lazy Dragon, yeah. He had some, he had some... <laughs> he had some bad people. Sounds like the beginning of a techno song. Microwave bacon, probably. You know, you can cook uh, eggs in the microwave too. Pop them in a bowl and start the micro. Yeah, those bright. Yeah, yeah, I've seen those VG. The little cook an egg in a in a little cup thing. Yeah. By the way, did you guys know that there's a way to duplicate apples in this game, and it's really easy to do? Like it's really easy to do and you get you get one of each apple very early in the game. Wow, you take damage the entire time you're on the fire. <laughs> oh no, fifty damage. Do you plant the seeds? <laughs> you fucking smart ass. <laughs> yes, you just plant the apple seeds. Boom, infinite apples. I mean, I guess you can kind of dupe anything like secret signs or whatever as well. I'm pretty sure any item that you can use in your inventory, you can uh, dupe. Rocket launcher obtained. Oh, hell yeah. Well, it's weak power now, but I bet it goes high.
Why do I care about taking like 50 damage? Too late. Well, it tripped, it did bite me. He has a mouth on its butt. That's just called a butthole. Wait, was that the name Peppermint Mary Poppins? Oh, oh, yeah, oh. <laughs> yeah, they do look like peppermint candies. Even the texturing like makes it look like a like like the same texture as one of those candies. Like it looks like it has that sh candy sheen, you know. Reminder, the Final Fantasy Fiesta has its own Discord finally. After five years, we finally made our own Final Fantasy Fiesta community Discord. It's live right now. You can join it. A lot of the information is going to get posted there, too. If, in case, you know, this is really good because a lot of people don't like Twitter, and I totally get it. I don't, I, I totally get the, the not wanting to be on Twitter. Great thing about Discord is you join it, and you can just, you can just lurk it. You can lurk Discord really easy, and you can interact if you want to, but all the, all the things that we do are going to be posted uh, in the Discord as well as Twitter. So you can stay up on the information and not have to worry about a Twitter feed or anything like that or account. Just pop in and chill. Lurk. And we'll always tag whenever we make a new announcement. So that way you don't have to like hope you remember or hope you show up at the right time. We'll let you know. Social media and anime were mistakes. Yeah, but anime titties. So, I mean. Counterpoint, you know? Honestly, I think it's a... Uh... <laughs> Holy shit! Is this the treasure chest? Looks like it, my lady. I, th I think anyway does tend to go too far sometimes, and it's too... <sighs> I get frustrated by anime, and sometimes I feel like anime was a mistake too. But yeah, I get it. <laughs> We've arrived at our destination. We'll split up from here. I should have done my best to find the Guardian Blade. But all those treasures... Yeah, there's a lot of great things that come from anime and a lot of great art styles and aesthetic, but there are definitely a lot of bad things that come from it as well. 
And not just like the easy to say and point out ones, just a lot of, uh, a lot of less tangible things come from it, you know? Just like inter any entertainment medium. Part of what makes anime so easy to exploit is how easy it is to make anime. It's a very simple art style that takes very little effort or detail to create believable works. And it's not to say that it's not an art that's worth appreciating. It's just that it makes it very pervasive. Uh, it's very pervasive and very, um, um, it's like all over the place. What's the word I'm looking for? Prolific, you know? It's harder to make a TV show, or a movie, or a video game. Because of that, there's more integrity that goes into it. Because if you're going to put that much effort into it, you need to do a good job. And usually those, pr those productions that are of low quality from those mediums, they disappear. They never get, they never see the light of day. There's a scratching sound. What is it? Seriously? Zed, at your service. Thanks for waiting for my friends. They are from Filgaia. What? You only like the old school fighting anime, Naruto, Bleach, and One Piece? I didn't like Naruto. I thought Bleach was great for the first season, and then I wasn't into it after that, but... There are definitely a lot of older animes that are great. I watched Slayers recently. That was a lot of fun. Let the execution begin. I'm up and totally ready to go, dude. Here we go again. You're the fool things he can match for me. This time it's going to be different. No sunny breakfast for you tomorrow. What is this? What? <laughs> is this guy? Yeah, like Lena. Like Lena Inverse, yeah. You can hear the voices of Ah. That being praised is the best of the best! You never liked DBZ? I loved it as a kid, but I look back on it now, I'm just like, eh. I like Dragon Ball better. Wow, that was loud. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is definitely one of my favorites. Ogu Kyojin Ryoko. That's it. <laughs> it's not just one rocket, dude. It's a machine gun volley of rockets. <laughs> Yeah, thankfully, RPG Chick has all sorts of old school anime that I never got into because most of the anime that I've seen is like from the 90s and on. Machine Gun Rocket Launcher, dude, that's insane.
I like Outlaw Star. I still need to see all of Helsing Ultimate. I wanna, I wanna get it. I wanna, I wanna watch that all of it. I've only seen the first few. Helsing Ultimate felt way better than the original, but I don't know if it stayed that way. Cool. Pros again. That's the second freeze tonight. Oh, Cowboy Bebop is definitely for sure my favorite anime ever. Absolutely. I usually don't have favorites, but it's easy to say with Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, second time tonight, Crixie. Oh my god, I'm far back, aren't I? Oh dear, how far back am I? Okay, I have the flower, so I think I have Jane in my party, and we gotta go. So there was no save point in that dungeon, which means we gotta do the entire dungeon all over again. Did I know there's a Wild Arms enemy? I do now. If even Final Fantasy couldn't make a good anime, I don't think any game to anime is ever going to be good. <laughs> That's a movie though. And there was only the first movie that was good. Okay, the Castlevania anime was fantastic. I don't think it's underappreciated at all. Castlevania anime is well loved. The guy that wrote Wild Arms made an anime that references Wild Arms constantly. It seems like he's just really sad that Wild Arms wasn't as popular as it was. Is it, but it should be more popular. It's got wild arms and guns and stuff. Oh, Captain Taylor? Yeah, I've never heard of it. Well, true, Digimon games are terrible, so...
By the way, did you guys know that we're going to be unveiling the second incentive tomorrow for the Final Fantasy Fiesta? Just a little hint for you. Winky face. You know, Chef, there is an unnecessarily long hallway at the entrance, isn't there? <laughs> what the hell? I'm gonna kill this dopey looking dragon that has big slabs for feet. His feet look like sandals, but they're his feet. What am I playing this game on? Uh, PS2 Slim. I'm not doing fast disk speed because I've found that a lot of games glitch out with fast disk speed. But it's basically original hardware as far as playing it goes. Because the PS2 Slim has built in PS1 hardware. Wait, he does have a mouth on his butt? I have to I have to admit, I remember every enemy in the game having ridiculous sound effects like cats and stuff, but it turns out that it's only like some of the enemies have that cat sound. Alright, be a dragon so we can see your mouth butt. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah, he's got a big old mouth butt. Now here's a question, does he eat of his mouth butt or his face mouth? <laughs> you change your mind, kill it with fire. <laughs> yeah, but where does it, which one does he poop from? The most importantest question of them all. <laughs> Thank you for putting that into words for me, Tiger Dev. <laughs> or not Tiger Dev, but Magitech. Sorry. <laughs> oh my goddess? Oh, I've definitely seen Oh my goddess. Oh god, I have totally forgotten about that one. I can't remember anything about it. I just know that I've seen it. I also really like um, Silver Harp. Nullify Silence. Oh, hey. Like uh, the one, uh, what is it? Uh, shoot. Yours is the drill that all pierce the heavens. Freaking. Uh, yeah, TGGL. I got the thank you. Gurren Login. Tang and Top of Gurren Login. I love that one. <laughs> like, I can't, I, can't, I can't remember the name of the freaking anime. And you give me an acronym. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, thanks buddy, really helps me out there. <laughs> so the thing about Gurren Logan, when I first watched it, I thought it was pretty okay. I, I kind of liked it. I was like, I was gonna like this. But then I realized it was a parody. And then I rewatched it. I was like, oh my God, this is so much better. This is amazing. This is fantastic. 
<clears throat> much like Excel Saga. You know right away that Excel Saga is a parody, though, and you just love it from the get-go. Felicoli? Yeah, I like Felicoli. I know a lot of people don't care for it, but I really like it. I think my rocket launcher was the floor below, so I gotta go down. Feligali's weird? <laughs> well, yeah, that's the point. It's supposed to be weird, but what's crazy about Feligali is it has an insanely, like, prominent and, and, and like, relevant message in it. It's, like, actually one of the most, like, poignant anime stories that have ever, ever existed. It's really a, a, a it's really good. <laughs> Am I going to work my way up to the Tsubasa Reservoir Chronicles? I have no idea what you're talking about. Right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's exactly it. Yes. That's just what Mozzie says. You think it's just like this crazy weird thing and then all of a sudden it's like, boom, message. And you're just like, oh shit. <laughs> what? Where did that come from? You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> Wait, that's illegal. Yes, it was. It really was. It's, it, honestly, I, I like I rate for Legally as one of like the like all time classics because of that. You know, it just pow, and it was the, its weirdness wasn't so weird that you couldn't keep up with it. It was just like weird things are happening, and it kind of builds up to this thing, and it's still entertaining and its weirdness. But then, bam, you know. The first anime I ever watched, like anime series that I ever watched, the first one I ever watched was Akira, which obvious classic. And then I watched uh, Ghost in the Shell and then Ninja Scroll. Those are the first an three animes. They're all they're all movie animes too that I was introduced to. But the first series I ever watched was uh, Fushigi Yugi, actually. Yeah, I know, right? I started with Akira. It's a pretty damn good start, right? It's like, well, of all the things to start with, that's the one to start with. <laughs> the 90s anime starter pack? Yeah, right? I know. They're, they're probably the three most prominent animes of, of the 90s, which is Akira, Ninja Scroll, and uh, Ghost in the Shell, right? Yeah. Oh, Golden Boy! I really want to watch that. I've heard so many good things about it. I've seen that swimming clip, and I'm just like, I need to watch this. Oh, yeah. Well, last week, we put on uh, we put on Cardcaptor Sakura as background stuff, and it's kind of cute. It's kind of fun. I, I don't really have a particular, like, special interest in it where I want to watch it or work my way up to anything, but it's a good background. Those are your three too, Magitek Knight? Nice. That's awesome. I'm pretty sure if Akira wasn't my first anime that I may not have like liked the, the genre at all, you know? Potentially. I don't know. Akira is a pretty like OP star, you know? Based. Project Aiko. Oh man, that sounds so familiar. 
Why do I feel like I should know that? This is going to be a save point, isn't it? There's going to be a save point in here, guaranteed. Because there was a door I didn't go into, and it's almost positive going to be the save point that I missed. Erased. Oh, I, I think I've seen that. I think I've seen that. That's like a, that was like a, um, a, like a, released in some theaters, right? It's a movie? I'm pretty sure I've seen it. Oh, this is something else. Okay, I don't remember going all the way down here last time. Serious from a few years ago? Or this one? I'm, I, I feel like I, I've seen it. it. Sounds so familiar. Aquarian Evil. Is it just like a really silly anime or what is it? stuff I haven't heard of now. I'm not like ultra in anime. My fiance is the super weeb. She knows all the things. school I didn't really have access to like knowledge of anime really so when I watched you know Akira or whatever I didn't know where to go from there and I had some like anime f there was an anime group at our school you know they, they are like the I don't know they were just a group of people that liked anime and you kind of knew that and uh, I tried to get some from him and I was never really able to, to get anything from there. So it wasn't until like years later when the internet became a little bit better with that kind of stuff that I was able to like build up on my anime watching. Here's a neat, th neat, neat thing, Chef Tig. Did you know Vampire Hunter D Bloodlust was animated by, um, uh, oh my God, the Final Fantasy artist guy, what's his name? Shit. Totally drawing a blank. Akira, uh, no, no, uh, uh, Yoshitaka Amano. Yeah, Amano. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you imagine a vampire, a uh, Hunter D, Bloodlust, Final Fantasy, like taking that aesthetic and bringing it into a video game, having that style, that class, all of that stuff. That's that'd be sick. Doesn't have to be a Final Fantasy, but a game in general, you know? With with the budget of a Final Fantasy. Vincent and Setzer? It's funny you should mention those two characters because they were literally designed by not Yoshitaka Amano. Both of those characters were designed by um, Tetsuya Nomura, so. <laughs> womp womp wow. <laughs> No more! <laughs> I would love, I would love to have a comic series. Okay, check this out. It's a comic series about the the going ons of Square Enix from any era at all. It doesn't matter, and it's just like every time. They're, they're talking about some of the projects or stuff or things, but every time at the end, it's like it's like what we just did here, like Astros, it's like, oh man, a Vampire Hunter D Final Fantasy would be awesome. Like, well, what about Vincent and Sensor? 
And it's like, well, I'm sorry, those were made by Tetsuya Nomura. And then the last panel is always somebody just shouting at the sky, Nomura! <laughs> it's just an entire series of all the things that people get slighted by Nomura for. <laughs> Uh, yes, who are we going to have as the director of Final Fantasy VII Remake? Well, Tetsuya Nomura just finished with Kingdom Hearts 3. But I, but I was going to be put in that position. I, I, was, I was next in line for that. Curse you, Nomura! <laughs> Why is there casual lava? Hey, don't judge, you know? It's, it's free love, baby. Casual lava, you know? <laughs> it's just super casual, you know? No pants, it's cool. Am I what am I most excited for? The next Final Fantasy 16 or FF7 remake sequel? Oof. <laughs> You know, I would say Final Fantasy 16, and I'll tell you why. I already know I've played Final Fantasy 7 Remake, obviously. We platinumed it and everything. There's only so much that can be, like, made in addition, because the sequel is going to be the same game engine, the same game assets, just, you know, moving forward farther. And there might be some, you know, some uh, some playfulness in the, in the mechanics, but generally speaking, it's going to be the same game, more or less, right? Whereas I don't really know what to expect from Final Fantasy 16, it's going to be a completely brand new and unique experience. So I'm more excited for FF16 because of that. No more on! <laughs> Got up out of the weed talk and just realized there's lava all willing. Yeah, I was just chilling. I'm just chilling. Well, it, okay, it's not showing because it's lava, but I mean, you know. Dude, you're on my bomb. He's on my bomb. You're on my, you're on my bomb. You're gonna, you're gonna get blown up. Wow, RBG tank. Wow. Well, it, it's it, the thing is, Mozzie, I've, that's one of the reasons why I love Final Fantasy so much, is it always provides a brand new experience each time you get a new game. So I love the new experiences, mechanics, stories, development, you know? Like, if I'm playing the same thing over again, there's, like, this level of, you know, previous knowledge where you don't get as surprised as much, you don't get, like, drawn into it, I guess you could say. Not that I don't enjoy replaying games and stuff, it's just that, like... When you get excited about something, I get excited more about something new when it comes to video games than I do about, you know, remasters or something. Although I will say, I was in tears when they announced the remaster or definitive edition of Xenoblade. So, I mean, there's that. I got eight bullets, let's just go. Yeah, I mean, we'll really see what, what, we, what we get with FF16 very soon, you know? I, I absolutely, completely love Final Fantasy VII Remake. It was an absolute masterpiece, and I'm really looking forward to more entries, you know, the sequels to those to those games. Uh, but Final Fantasy 16 is something brand new, 
and I'm really interested to see what it, what it, how it delivers. Especially considering that I know the setting and everything. I know that people are going to be so much more about it, so there's a lot of excitement there because I know the community is going to be behind it. People people get really upset when Final Fantasy isn't isn't like high fantasy. It's kind of silly, but it's funny because some of the the more popular Final Fantasies aren't even high fantasy. They're like modern or future. Like Final Fantasy seven, eight, not well, ten, nine, seven, eight, ten are all the most popular Final Fantasy games. And they, none of them are high fantasy. So weird. They can be my people. <laughs> well, if anything that the developer said is to be taken seriously, Chef Tig, they basically said do not expect it to deviate much from the original plot line. So I don't know. FFX has a large fantasy aspect. It does ish. Yeah, it's sort of it's sort of weird. It's just sort of like it's fantasy-ish, but nowhere near fantasy at the same time. You know. Every Final Fantasy has a mix of. High fantasy, modern, and future. Hey, what are you doing? Stop! No, wait! I'm pretty sure they die on the death blow, by the way, because both times my game is frozen, it's been about the same amount of time. And, it, and as they die, you know? Well, six isn't, obviously. Mostly it's just one, two, three, four, and five that are high fantasy. Everything else is not, for the most part. You're getting on my nerves. Next time you won't get out so easily. Next time, no more Mr. Nice Guy. Oh, now I get a save point. Gee, thanks. Five is iffy. I mean, you could say one is iffy for the exact same reason. Five is iffy. If it has castles, it's essentially high fantasy, but it has a deeper past. Like I said, every single one of them well, nine is pretty high fantasy, yeah. Every single one of them has a mix, right? There's a mix of high fantasy, modern, and future. They all have a mix. Games like one and five have a much more, more prominent mix, but it's mostly high fantasy, you know? And that's kind of a lot of the basis of Final Fantasy. You again. Ah, that was funny. Alza had suggested that if we were to spread rumors about the Guardian Blade, you fools would show up. And you fools did. <laughs> My stomach still hurts from all the laughing. You know, they can teleport anywhere, so why do they need to draw us? Why did what? They literally can teleport anywhere in the world, you know? I prefer a mix? Me too. I love any setting. Because listen, okay, listen, 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 listen. What's like one of the primary reason we love RPGs or D&D or any of that nerdy shit? Because we want to fantasize about these awesome worlds that are cool where you get these cool powers and can do cool moves and cool stuff. What is more like in line with that thought train than having a modern set game with all the modern tech and everything modern designs and cities and stuff with magic? You know, and, and how magic would have inf affected and influenced life. You know what I mean? That's what I love so much about Final Fantasy XV. Is it, is it literally takes our modern age and magicifies it. And I love that. And, like, that is, like, the most, that is the most, like, wet dream-ish thing that you could possibly do for a fa of, of, of an RPG fan. Is, like take all these cool aspects and magics and abilities and sword fights and stuff and awesome moves and cool things and powers and 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 portray them in a modern set modern setting and era you know what i mean like that's why we love it that's why we fantasize about it that's why we love playing those rpgs we like the idea the concepts of it and we want to see that in a more relatable environment you know imagine if you could go outside and throw a giant fireball in the in the freaking forest and just be like cool I 
That's my spiel. <laughs> but so what I'm trying to get at is I love all the settings for RPGs or video games. Ancient, you know, uh, high fantasy, space, modern, future tech, steampunk. It's all cool. All of it. I'm good with it all. You know? A guardian blade. You fools are looking for is God. It was lost a thousand years ago. You know the ocean of sand in the middle of Valgaia. That's the power of the guardian blade. It destroyed the demons, the humans, and all of Valgaia. In the end, it destroyed itself. You took such a long journey for nothing. <laughs> even though the Guardian Blade hasn't really been a factor of the story at all, and we don't even know what it is, and we're not even actually looking for it, but hey, we're just gonna throw this shit out there for no reason. Why, why not? Why not? But you don't have to worry about the trip home. I'll take care of that for you. I'll bury you guys right here, right now! Oh no, he's charging up. Just kick him while he's charging up. Just, just kick him right now. Just boop, right into the lava while he's charging up. Just toss him in there. This is the reason why I chose this ruin for our fight. No way, it can't be. My powers are being drained away. <laughs> this one is starting to glow too. I'm gonna break it. <laughs> If you get any more excited, the ruins will collapse. Oh my god. I don't need any help from any enhancing machines. I'm a nightcrawler. Beware, human. I'm getting weak, but I'll never yield to a human. Oh, well, thanks for letting me know you're awakening. Cool. Blaster howling. Oh no. Ah, not zero damage. Uh, what am I going to do? What am I fighting for? Yo, 944, hell yeah. Get him, Stinky. No, not Blaster Helling again. Ow, it paralyzes. Well, good thing it, she didn't get uh, Mystic because now I can eat self. Uh, no, we haven't. Normally I do na uh, naming giveaways for spells and stuff. Like whoever, just it's just free giveaway anybody can enter, but I, I was kind of on a spell making, uh, like I was making a whole bunch of them, and I, I didn't want to stop to do giveaways for each one of them. <laughs> I might, I might, I might do, I might do some. Who knows? I don't know. It, I usually do. I just there's a whole lot of giveaways, and they. Let's do Valkyrie again. They take time, so. Blop. It's a cool feature for sure, though. Five hundred, blech. I just realized why I, why the prism race sounds awkward. 
It sounds awkward because the only sound effect for the prism ray is bibu, just that. And then every other part of the sound effect for the prism ray is the same sound effect, just played at a lower volume to make it sound like an echo. So even though it's supposed to be like a bunch of lasers going pew 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 pew, it's just pew pew and then echoed. Listen the next time I shoot it. Which will be next turn. Uh, not next turn. Sorry, I lied. Listen. Listen to the sound of a hole of an O. See? Pipiu, 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 pipiu. I lost. I can't believe it. Black, I'm gonna die now. Let me just leave. No, no dialogue. He's just dead. Yeah, it sounds really weird, but basically they cheated to make it sound like a laser barrage when really it's just one laser shot. Red malice. A giant. Oh, that's the key. It's one of the keys. I lost to a human. I'll get you next time. How pitiful. You used all your powers and you still lost. And against a human of all things? Who was that? No way. You're not even a council member. Give me a hand. Gather my body parts and take me back to the photosphere. I have no hand to give to a loser. <laughs> climb, humans. Climb up here to my level of dreams. Why is there an earthquake here? Whoa. Get off me, you idiot. How long do you plan on staying on top of me? Whoa. <laughs> wow. Oops. That was the wrong lever that I just moved. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I meant to turn this one down. So I can play that sound effect. You've crushed the treasure. What the hell are you doing? Look at this. Hey, I'm sorry, all right? It won't happen again. But my lady, under the circumstances, I think that he did the right thing. Your safety is the most important to me. I know, I know. Just don't start on me with that again. Thanks for saving my life or whatever. Remember, you can't buy a life, but there's a lot of other things you can buy in this world. UNNECESSARILY LONG ENTRANCE! I smashed a couple dials and I don't know where the balance is at anymore, so I'm just gonna fiddle, fiddle with things until I get it right about there. Alright. Bell Suck was defeated by the humans. He ruined the plan, so I gracefully gave him you. You really can't teach an old dog new tricks. No need to laugh at his scattered remains. I heard it was a death befitting of him. Now that he's gone, we can have all the fun. With him gone, we can call ourselves the Quarter Knights. <laughs> Don't worry, my children. I already have a replacement in mind. It's gonna be Zeke. Yay, my turn has finally come. How with me, the Quarter Knights will revive like a phoenix. <laughs> come, Boomerang, show yourself. No, it can't be. 
He's known as the Cannibal, the Executioner. A man with his reputation should not be joining the Quarter Knights. To kill the demons was one of my missions. Of course, I didn't have any misgivings about that unimportant mission. I do as I please. Mother, this man is not suitable to be a knight. I cannot listen to you this time, my dear Zeke. Boomerang has a mission. You should understand this. I have told Boomerang to eliminate the humans guided by the Guardians that are preventing us from achieving our goals. I, I understand, Mother, if, if you say so. Oh, Zeke, you obedient and dear Zeke. Let me handle the elimination of the humans. I would like to see if they are worth the trouble. Let's go, Lucied. I just want to save my strength right now. That's why I sent him to go after the human beings. Don't worry, Zeke. Does that mean that we are going to launch a major attack soon? Yes, but until then, no one must come near me. Understand, Zeke? I shall activate the Sodelita. It is the ultimate defensive barrier. It will keep any intruders from entering. It is the reason why our fortress is called the Photosphere, the Sphere of Light. <laughs> Soon, we shall see chaos and destruction. Soon. Oh no, lights and stuff. What are you folks going to do now? We have some unfinished business. Certainly, we'll miss you. Well, see you again, it's a small world. Peace, losers. She's nice. I'm gonna upgrade my gun first. I'm sorry, did I say gun? I meant rocket launcher. I'm going to upgrade my rocket launcher first. 25 attack power on the first level up. Oh yeah, baby. Oh man. <laughs> Ten thousand yeah, this last one. One hundred and seventy five attack power. Well, that's gonna be explosive. Actually, let's go test it, right? Gotta test it. Only 75% chance to hit, so we might miss. Apparently, they're monkeys. Kaboom! <laughs> yeah, yeah, that works. That'll that'll do. <laughs> That'll do, pig. That'll do. Mm -hmm. oh, at first, at the beginning of the game, I was wondering if I was ever going to get enough money to upgrade the arms. But money's just been pouring in now, so, yeah.
we'll we'll definitely get to see more of that rocket launcher. 